American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here's where I sing. here midnight uh, tonight uh, eastern uh, time and the daylight time and uh we have uh we have a uh, a guest uh, here uh, uh, huh huh who's that who's that huh who is that huh Yo, say hello to them hey hello them y- how are you yeah yeah that's uh that's uh what's your name i came to new york to go to the ramble but i thought i was going to meet other guys in the bushes <laughs> it's not that ramble? It's not that ramble. Oh, I thought it was that ramble. No, it's not that ramble. Hi, how are you, ladies and gentlemen? There he is. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, Albert. Yeah. Yeah. Just me. Uh, uh, thanks I, for having me. Yeah, good. It, thanks for being here, and Bye. we'll see you later. Okay. okay. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> no, he's in town. He, he and the wife are... Uh, uh, visiting the daughter. Uh, visiting the daughter. That's right. And uh, her uh, boyfriend. Yes. And uh, watching Battle Bots. I love Battle Bots. Love Battle Bots. Yeah, I was into Battle Bots maybe 20 years ago. What happened to you? Why did it take you so long? To get I've been up watching to it? it since it's been on TV. I didn't grow up in San Francisco. I didn't, uh, so no. I, I couldn't get it as early as you could. Yeah. But I love I love the uh, the violence. Yeah. But nobody gets hurt. That's what I love about it. Yeah, it's terrific. It's terrific. But there's yeah. plenty of violence. Yeah. I, well, I used to watch it, and then uh, Cheaters came on at the same time, and I had to make a choice. I don't know what Cheaters is. Oh, you've never seen no. Cheaters? Oh, that's the lowest rent TV show going. Is it about people cheating on each other? Yes. I have no interest in yes. that. Yes. Well, no, but I mean, this. The, somebody comes to them and says, I think my boyfriend has been cheating on me, and then yeah. they send their detectives out to photograph them. And and show what's uh, what's going on, you know, with the with the whole thing. Do any parts and, come off these people? Well, then they then they show the person the videotapes they found and what they found out about yeah. the cheating, and then they confront the guy or the woman on the air. But no parts come off of these people. No parts come off. See, of that's these the people. part I like about oh, battle that's box, what you like about is battle. There's total destruction. They come apart completely. Well, there is a good chance that parts could come off of these people. Uh, if you if you told me that happened, I might watch Cheers. Yeah, I'm going to turn the fan but up I don't. here. I've got to turn the fan up. I don't know. It's we have some weird... This is horrible weather this year. It's kind of humid, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not nice. It's not pretty. But anyway, so you were watching BattleBots, right. and you like... I didn't even know that was still on. It's now back... Or it's now on Discovery. Used to be on ABC, and before that, now, I think it was on Spike. How does that fit into the Discovery, you know, mold? I you don't know? know, but they must know that there's an audience. Discovery, for it. you would have shows about the planets and about insects and Not, things like that. But what they got? You know that, better than that. Battle Bots is on no, Discovery. No, keep cable television channel does what its name says it does. Really? And the biggest example of that is, of course, MTV. There's no music on, on there's, MTV. Uh, there's no music on MTV. They stopped having music years ago. So why can't Discovery have Battle But Bots? they do have, what's the other network that MTV has? Uh, um, oh, VH1. VH1. They play music. Or they do play they, hits. Do they play hits? There? They don't play videos or hits. Really? So it's not, it's not Video Hits 1. I don't get it. So you were telling me that on the Disney Channel there's no Disney? I, I couldn't answer that because I never watched the Disney Channel. You never watched the Disney Channel. The only thing I love about Disney is their stock. That's it. Yeah, their stock is, <laughs> do, does pretty well. It, for me, it's been doing okay. Can, can you imagine that, you know, that was a company that when Walt died, they went, well, that's it for the company. <laughs> and it almost was it for the company, to tell you the damn yeah, right, truth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and all of a sudden, uh, today, they are maybe the biggest media company in the world. That's that's quite possible. There yes. there isn't yeah. anything they don't exactly own. Yeah. They're very diversified. That's good. That's good about the company. Yeah, and they got Star Wars. So, it, but if Walt came back today and he looked at Disney, outside of the fact that he would say, "Boy, I'm making a lot of money off of this," right? Yeah. What would he think of the com- of his namesake company and what it's doing? 
Well, I don't think he'd necessarily be disappointed in the company, but I think like his relatives, he'd be disappointed in the treatment of the employees of the company. Yeah. So. There are some questions about that, aren't there? There have been in the last few weeks, yeah. Yeah. So. Like, what are they saying? That they're uh, mistreated in some way, I guess, as far as pay or compensation or uh, vacation yeah. or I don't know what it is, but that they didn't like the way they Do were Do parts come off? Not, not, not as far as we know, because they keep them behind stage. The cast is kept behind stage, so maybe yeah. parts do come off. I know heads come off the characters. Yes. So parts, yeah. I guess, do come off. Yeah, yeah. but uh, there have there, there been some problems over at ESPN, which they own. Yeah. Uh, uh, because some people have decided to become political, and they don't like their people on the air to become political. Well, then they better get the animatronics out there on ESPN, because yeah. that's the only way to keep them from they, being political. They, they really should. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, Disney is just, they they own everything. They own the Marvel stuff. Mm -hmm. They own Star Wars. Right. They own the Muppets. Right. Uh, they own... Uh, Not to mention Mickey Mouse and that gang. Well, they forget, <laughs> uh, Mickey, who's Mickey Mouse? Right. You, you know, who's Theme Donald parks? Duck? Huh? Theme parks, television, mm -hmm. ABC they still own? Do they still own ABC? I think uh, they yes, still of course they still own yeah. ABC. So. Yeah. yeah. So when is the government going to say, Disney, you're a monopoly? Well, they don't do that anymore. Oh, they don't do that no. anymore. Look okay. at, look at because, Google and the rest of them. They don't do that. Here, here's the problem. They're, they're pulling stuff away like from Netflix. Right. Like all the Marvel stuff they're pulling off of Netflix. Right. And a lot of the movies that they used right. to let Netflix have, they're pulling right. off. And why they're pulling it off is because they're going to have Disney Plus starting. And so they're going to move everything over there. And I don't know that that doesn't suddenly come under the guise of, uh, you know. If they own it, they could do what they want with well, it. Well, but you can't. Why not? If you, it, you can't deny someone else the, the ability to make, make money. For instance. Um, if it's your product, you can. They announced, what were they announced? That certain shows that were, are very popular over there. And I'm trying to remember which one. Friends. Mm-hmm is no longer going to be on uh, on uh, Netflix. Netflix. Right. And uh, they're pulling a couple other Disney-owned shows. And, you know, and it's, it's just, um, the question is, when you're, when you're starting your own entity, yeah. and then you deny some other entity that's very similar to what you're doing, your product, because you're well, now well, moving well, well, it What was that your, you say just now? Your product. Yeah. It's not le Netflix's but, product. And by the way, Netflix has a ton of product of their own. And I always say that. I say, how do they come up with all this stuff constantly, constantly? That's what they have to do. Well, you know what they do is they take something that was done in a foreign country we never saw before, mm -hmm. and then they say a Netflix original. Okay. It's what, not. Whatever, it's not. Whatever it but takes. But they say a Netflix original. They put money into it somewhere, I guess. Yeah. So it's their thing. But, I mean, it, it's, um, um, I don't know, it was years ago, it was um, somebody, oh yeah, HBO. When it first started, and Time Warner, or Time Life at that time, right. had HBO. HBO wanted to start making movies, and the government said you can't. Oh, did they? Yep. I didn't know. HBO yeah. original movies, they said you can't. You can't. Why? You can't go into the movie theaters. You can't compete uh, against the very people you're buying stuff from. You get what I'm saying? They were buying movies for uh -huh. the network, yeah. and now they were going to go into competition with those people, and the government said no. And how long did that last? Because well, apparently it didn't last very <laughs> they've long. They've made movies for many years now. Yeah, and, and good movies. Yeah, but I mean, this was stuff for theater. Yeah, and yeah. so on. And I often said, well, why do they want to do that anyway? You know, aren't they happy finding their own niche for what they do, which is being a cable network? Of course, now being a cable network ain't, ain't much of anything, uh, because I was looking at losing HBO on my FiOS right. if I went to another plan which I didn't go to because the one I currently have, which they're willing to continue for another year with all my discounts, right. and only going to go by 10 bucks a month, uh, uh, I, so I, I get to keep my HBO. But I figured if I lose my HBO, I told a girlfriend who goes, oh, I can't lose HBO. I said, how many times do you watch it on the cable? Yeah. Well, how many times do you go to HBO Go and watch the shows there? Well, that's what I do. Well, then you will just subscribe to HBO Go and in a couple of months, it'll be HBO Max, and uh, that's where Doctor Who's going, you know. Down the road, you're not going to need Fios. 
or Spectrum or well, any of that I will, other stuff. Well, I will need Fios. For your internet, that's it. Yeah, but uh, uh, for my internet, absolutely. Yeah. But no not for content. Yeah. Content I mean, everybody will sell on their own. Look, one of the smartest uh, bunch there is CBS. They've, they've said uh, all our new good stuff, we're not putting on the, on the television, on the regular television. Oh, no, you know what they're doing, though, turns out? All that stuff they're doing for CBS All Access, yeah. like they have uh, the uh, uh, Star, Star Trek, Trek Discovery right. and the new Picard show right. is going to be on there, and there's a Good Wife type show on right. there. I don't know what it's called. Uh, they're going to start showing that on their network. Second play. Second run. Second run. Yeah. Yeah. Good for them. That's what they should do. You know, and I mean, Discovery was a great show, so it, it might do well. And plus, what they then able to do is to do very expensive programming for, mm -hmm. for CBS uh, All Access and then eventually show it to the masses right. later on down the road, second run. So that that's probably what's going to happen with but CBS. But that's essentially what Disney did. They gave it to somebody else. Yeah. If it's yours, you keep it. And, and then they've got CBS N, which is their news operation. I didn't know CBS N was a thing. Yeah, and, it? and it's pretty damn good too. So it, it's like CNN or MSNBC? Yes, but it has nobody has an opinion. I very it, much doubt it's, that. No, it's not opinion. And either. where can I find CBS N? It, uh, it's it. just an app. It's an app. Oh, it's an app. Yeah. Oh. Just go look up CBS N. You get it as an app, and I uh, I like their news better than I like the other. Companies. I do like their news too. Yeah, but, but I, I don't mean, know that I'm going to have an app just to watch the But news. what they're doing with that also is that each of their local stations is going to be available on CBSN. All oh, their okay. all their news operations are going to have a 24/7 news operation for CBSN that's going to be on. So I can watch So I can watch uh, say Channel 2 in New York. I can watch their Wire or Lemons killing you. I can watch that. Yes. What they tell me at 11? Right. Why is your shoe size the wrong shoe size? Yes, oh, right. Now, right. Let's see now right. that's worth it. Or, I'll get CBSN. Well, I, I I'm loved, on it. I always loved it when they said, something that will kill you. We'll tell you what at it 11, is at 11. Right. Well, wait a minute. Tell me now yeah. because maybe it will kill me before 11 o'clock. Well, apparently they've been right because it hasn't killed you. It hasn't killed me so yet. But, it's all right. But everything else will. You know, At this age, you're going to get the call. Hey, do you hear Alex is dead? No. How are you going to feel about you've that? You've defeated the odds. No, don't say that. <laughs> You've got way I, past the eyes. Don't worry about it. I have to knock on wood, and all I have is fucking. Everybody knows you're not going anywhere. What do you mean? What do you mean? You you resist? I got, I got the prostate cancer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the guy, the guy, the guy with the robe and the Sith, he's been behind that door for years and years. Saying, Come on, the, Alex. The Scythe. 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 Sith. What is a Sith? The Sith is that's that's one of the Jedi the, the, people. The, the, the Star Wars guys. Yeah. But he's been. Knocking at your door for oh, years. I feel, you say, no, 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 I'm not ready. I feel when I wake up okay. in the morning, he's always sitting there in the corner going, yeah. not today, but it's coming. it's coming, it's coming. Alex, coming come soon. on, come on with me, will you? you know. Will you please come with me? Uh, yeah. No, you're yeah, not yeah, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You have this, you have the gadnet. Yeah, dot yeah, net. Yeah. And then it becomes a big Woody Allen film, you know, <laughs> to be following death through wherever. Right, yeah. You know. Well, it's just everybody I know is dying. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in. I'm not in that crowd. I don't know. Friends I've had had who are dead. Uh, Bruce David, yeah, one of my best friends. Right. Roy Trumbull, my childhood friend, dead. Uh, when I mean, did Roy die? I, didn't I mean, know that. Dennis Hoff. Oh, Dennis Hoff, yeah. Dennis Hoff. But he went with a smile on his face. I don't know if he went with a really? smile on his face. Yeah. I mean, who knows what what happened there. You know, but he was young. He was like in his early sixties. Maybe uh, his competitor bumped him off. He was in an election, wasn't he? Yeah, he was in an election. He won it. Oh, did he win? He won at, at, pre, at post mortem. He won the election. I think you better look into that. That's uh, a little hinky, I think. Uh, yeah. So they, I think, I can't remember what they did. I think they appointed somebody uh -huh. from that party he, because he was a Republican. Go okay. figure. Yeah. They'll take a win. I never knew Dennis to have a political bone in his body, you know. But he had a bone in his body, though, no question about that. No, he had that. a bone in other people's <laughs> bodies. Um, but, uh, uh, it, and I hadn't talked to him in a while, mm -hmm. you know, and I haven't talked to him now in a while, so. Yeah. But, I mean, there, there's a guy who died, and I went, my God, you know. The first one I ever had that went 
okay, that really got to me was uh, Paul Montgomery, who was the head of Play Incorporated, who was like, I guess, not only my best friend, but you know, in this business, isn't it wonderful if there's a person who's gonna help you make your creative dreams come true? Yeah. Because he backs what you wanna do? Yes. That was Paul, okay? And in the middle of backing me to this uh, internet cable, this internet television network, which was coming along swimmingly, he fucking drops dead. And I'm left with these lame brain assholes who took over, that were all fighting for power in the company. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, of course, what do they care about what I'm doing? You know. So what happened to the, the Well, whole eventually the whole they, 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 uh, they put me out to pasture, owing me $50,000. And you collected that instantly, didn't no, you? No, it was money so. out of my own pocket. Yeah. You know what I got? I, went, I applied, you know, you apply to the uh, bankruptcy courts or whatever, because right. they, they went, did they go bankrupt? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, they went bankrupt. And uh, uh, somebody who had a lot of money in the company took over the major portion. But what happens is, at, if, you, if a company goes bankrupt and you have some claim against them, mm-hmm. uh, the, the, there's a certain pecking order. Oh of, yes, of I know who, that. Who yes. gets the right. most money? Right. So I uh, they owed me fifty thousand dollars for rent that I had paid on on the space that they were using for shows and for a lot of other stuff that I put out money in advance yeah. that they would, were supposed to reimburse me. So I was out $50,000. How much do you think I got? Uh, let me see if I do the math right. Carry yeah, the but one. Yeah, carry the one over the two. Zero. No, no. You got money? I got money. Did you really? Yep. I couldn't even How much? make a guess. How much? Just take a while. Couple hundred bucks. Yeah, three hundred. Oh, really? Three hundred bucks. Okay. I got three hundred. And bucks. you put out how much for legal advice? Oh no, we didn't have to pay any. Oh, you didn't legal have to fees. just no. just a filing fee? Uh, no, we, uh, we just we just when a company goes bankrupt, you just automatically just file a claim against the company for money that they oh. owe you. So three hundred bucks. Hey, don't spend it all in one place. I Alex. just filed my Equifax claim. Oh, did you really? On the breach, yeah, because I was one of the people that was of the. Thousands and thousands. I may have been breached. You should look. The site is up now. Yeah. You can get 125 bucks. Do I do I put my name in and it says whether yeah, you I... you put your name in and social security number, and it'll say, yes, you're part of the breach. And then you go to the next step, and it says uh, you can put in the number of hours you spent to get uh, um, a service to check your credit. Mm-hmm. And if you... I think if you have the right service to check your credit or somebody what checks service your credit. would check my credit there are services that that keep an eye on your credit well yeah that. but i don't know who they are well but they're but they're what like the ones you see on tv we'll we'll make sure you don't get uh, uh breached oh really whatever that does no. yeah okay. but you can get 25 bucks an hour up to i think 20 hours so check it out it's free money 125 dollars an hour no, no, twenty-five bucks an hour. Twenty-five bucks an hour. So if you've done, if you, if you researched an hour online about the Equifax thing, and then you um, put in an hour filing for the claim, yeah, that's two hours right there. That's fifty bucks in your pocket. Okay, so can I lie about how much time I spent? Uh, no, that would be a lie. Did you lie? No, I didn't lie. How did you figure out how? Uh, because I because you when would it have, happened, you would have to have to have figured what five hours. That's what I figured. Yeah. When it happened, I spent a considerable amount of time looking up what the problem was, yeah. and a considerable considerable amount of time getting a company to keep an eye on my credit. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of them was somebody that they recommended and provided free service. Mm-hmm. And I still have a credit monitoring service, and I spent the time filing, so it came out to about five hours. So you get one hundred twenty-five bucks back. I filed for one hundred twenty-five bucks. I, you know, this credit. So sure. Have you ever tried Credit Karma? No, I've heard of it. Yeah. I yeah. don't because all the banks give you free credit. Now. No, no, free, no. Free no, credit but checking. if you go over there, one of the services they provide, and you don't pay for this, mm-hmm. one of the services they provide is you may be owed money oh, really? by somebody. Like, let's say you had a, uh, oh, oh, maybe a warranty or something. I don't know. Uh, and and uh, 
I can't remember what I got paid for, but I, I got back a couple hundred bucks. Oh, was really? Waiting for me. They said, "Yeah, you can claim a hundred, uh, uh, hundred and fifty here, and twenty-five there, and thirty there." Credit karma. I know you get their service for nothing. Yeah, when you, when yeah. You put in your name and who Ooh, you are, oh, I like and that. then they, uh, if you go back to them a couple, a couple of times later, they'll say, "Well, hey, you know, you've got some money waiting for you." It may have been like, you know, sometimes you you bought something, and they said if you mail this in. You'll get. Uh, we'll send you twenty five bucks or something like that because no, it, I never to take I, twenty no to take twenty five dollars off the cost of what you bought. It was oh a, a rebate a rebate yeah yeah and you just, oh I've done a lot of them no but you didn't do it let's say oh, no I do all my rebates well these were some rebates I hadn't remember oh well, see I do all my rebates I get the money I'm a cheapskate when it comes like that but I got all my rebates okay you know that's good I, and one of them I think was two hundred fifty dollars and I, somebody else I know made a couple of thousand. Just off rebates they didn't collect. The, it's not just rebates. Yeah. It's other things that, you know, like uh, there may have been a class action suit somewhere, and because you were uh, considered part of it, you never collected. You, you, but see, that's that's the point I'm getting to with Equifax. I yeah. don't I don't skip those things. I check them out. I check all of them out. You know what they got to worry about more than anything is people like you and me, uh, because we don't have anything to do with our day. It, well... But, but make That's trouble. Very true. But make trouble. That's very you know? true. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to uh, all you people out there, who have a business. Don't fuck with old people, <laughs> because they have nothing to do with their miserable, pathetic lives. And I'm one of them. Okay, all right. Uh, to do with them, uh, then uh, to uh, you know, do exactly what we're talking about. That's right. You know, just make trouble. So and and, and, and loving it. Well. <laughs> You know, if, here's what I always figured: that they should be very careful of old people. Uh, Wait a because minute. now, hold on. Do I qualify as old people? No, now? you don't yet. Okay. Uh, how old are you Just now? Checking. Fifty-seven. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, you're t- what, tw- uh, twenty-two years younger than I right. am. Wow. Jeez, Almighty. I don't even want to talk to you. I'm, no. eight, I'm eight years away from. But from, here's the thing. From retirement. Here's the thing. If, if, if they come after us and they try to get our Medicare. Who's they? The government. Oh, the government. Donald Trump. You've heard of him? Yeah. 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 Uh, he, uh, it, uh, it, we're, we're at this point in our lives where we have things like, oh, terminal diseases, things like that. You keep saying we. I'm a little concerned about that. Well, because I, You're old, talking about your, old, your group? Old, my age group. Okay. Okay. So if you fuck with us, since some of us have like terminal cancer, we could strap a bomb to our body and not give a shit, right? Yeah, I'm not part of this thought process. We could be I'm a not very powerful. We could be a very powerful <laughs> lobby in this country by striking fear into the hearts of our governmental no, leaders. See, I, the whole the whole terrorist aspect of that, I don't. Oh, you care. don't like that? I don't now. care for that. Ah, no. fuck you. That's not fuck my thing. Fuck you. I go on record of saying that I'm not part of that whole. I think it's wonderful. To tell you the truth. You know, okay. Yeah. You know. So uh, anyway, it's uh, uh, so uh, you know. Uh, so what what are you doing down there? In uh, you're living in Florida. I surf the web for things. Oh, I thought you were going to say I surf. No, no. But uh, then you no, would but stop I, there. I swim several times a week. I go to the gym. I cook. I uh, really that's it. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. Not much more than that. Do you miss the radio business? Yeah, I miss the radio business. Mm-hmm. I, how many years have I done that? A few decades. I miss it sure. too. Yeah, well, but the radio business. But I look around to, to see if there's a radio business and there isn't one. No, it's changed. So that's okay. Close I to- miss it, but I don't. I don't. I don't say I'm. I'm bitter because it's not there anymore. It's. It's changes. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be a buggy whip maker and saying, "Oh, I, I, this is terrible." Things things go on. I mean, the closest I come to being in radio now is this podcast is on iHeartRadio. Yeah, but I came into New York the other day. Yeah. And I crossed well, the okay, Tri-Borough okay, Bridge. Okay, tell them about you coming to New York. I please. crossed... The, I'm not even going to tell that story, no. That's just that's just bad travel. But I crossed the Tri-Borough Bridge, and iHeartRadio has a big, a massive electronic billboard with their logo on it and a ticker at the bottom. And on the bottom, they're promoting... Listen to the Chelsea Handler podcast. They're not even promoting the the, the the local radio stations they own in this city. 
They're promoting a podcast. Is that the building? So that, is that that building where they? It, it, I think it almost is an iHeartRadio building, and they have a sign on it, and they have a lot of stuff. They no, no, no. no. Their their building is down is downtown, yeah. but yeah. They, this is a big billboard. Right as you cross the Triborough Bridge. And they don't promote their local radio station. So that's an indicator to me that radio really has changed and podcasting is what it's, people are it's listening a sign, to. It's a sign they've given up. Or they can't make it work. Here's yeah. the thing I don't get about why I'm not working now. Let me give you two, two instances, okay? In San Francisco, when I went to work at uh, uh, the Quake, a station called mm -hmm. the Quake, they they stole me away from another station called uh, the Cam. It would call KML, right? Camel, and uh, how, but they couldn't steal me away by calling me because that would be interfering with the contractual right. blah blah blah. So right. they had to have a third party yeah. intercede and ask me if I would like to talk to these people right. and talk about going over there. And who was the middleman in this whole deal? Bob Pittman. Bob Pittman is now the head of iHeartRadio. Yes, he right. started and then he started MTV. When I got that call, it said Bob Pittman called. Want mm -hmm. you to call him back? I went. They want me for MTV, <laughs> and I call him up and he says, "Hey, listen, I got these friends in San Francisco, right. and they want to talk to you. Would you be willing to talk to them?" And so on. So that's that's my one first brush with greatness. I uh -huh. should be able to call Bob Pittman up and say. Hey, Bob, I really would like to get back on radio. Yeah, why don't you call? Okay. So then I went to work uh, for a company called Entercom, mm -hmm. okay, which at that time owned about a radio station and a half. Right. Okay, and one of them was in San Francisco. And uh, a guy by the name of Joe Field ran the company. And he had the son, Joe uh, David Field, who he sent to San Francisco to kind of learn the business. And we kind of palled around with him and took care of him and made sure he was okay and taught him the business and you know he would did talk with the sales department and right. he was, he was, you know we looked at him as the boss's kid yeah all right david field is now the head of intercom one of the intercom one of the biggest right. radio outfits in the business real radio yeah am you, fm radio you think i can call him and get some work i in fact was in contact with him and i told him what i was doing here and he said well good luck to you and I made that company, that one station they had, I made them the most money they made of anybody in the whole chain. I bought radio stations for them. They don't need you anymore. They don't need why, me anymore. Why are they, they going to bother? So I, go, I say to myself, you know, yeah, I should be able to just call Bob Pitt and say, hey, Bob, remember me? Or, yeah. hey, Dave, hey, listen, uh, you know all that money I made for you? Well, you could pay it back now. I just, I just want a little, I want to have a radio show on one of your little radio stations. But it's, yeah. it's not about radio for them anymore. No. It's about podcasting, and not even that. It's about the music festivals and all this other stuff they promote. Yeah. I hear more promoting for that than I do for, for any and, radio stuff. And yet iHeart has been on the edge of bankruptcy forever, and Cumulus, I don't know how they're even still in business. You know, yeah, that's a, that's a poorly run company. They they've sold they sold uh, most of their big uh, yeah. uh, uh, things that they own. That's right. You know, here in New York, Recently, WPLJ yeah. is a mm -hmm. good example of that. But I think there was wasn't there another station they sold to? Uh, I think in Chicago or Detroit somewhere. Yeah, in San Francisco yeah. they sold one too. Uh -huh. Yeah, they sold K Fog. And the, and the ones that are still on the air, they're running into the ground. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, no question about it. So, anyway. Well, you know, we have uh, people out there who call this program. Let me, let me just... Show me it. the people. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta, first, I got I to gotta, uh, uh, get the uh, Skype uh, going. And... Um, I just come here to listen to uh -huh. the sound of Skype starting up. That's, y all, that's yeah. all I want. Uh, well, you know, uh, he, uh, you like hearing Skype start up. That's all uh, I come I, here for. I see. That's all I came to New York okay. for. By the way, he, he is the new voice of, uh, of Gabnet, by the way. Who? You. Oh, is that right? Since Rob <laughs> is kind of like retired. I do, I do two promos and now I'm the new voice? Yeah, you're the new voice. Can I put that on my well, resume? You're the, you're the guy I can call whenever I need to do this. Oh, yeah. okay. So, anyway, somebody's calling here. Let me uh, just, uh, it's, it's Jason. Why don't you come? I know Jason. Hold, hold, hold on a second, Jason. We'll be with you in just a second, okay? Uh, but I want uh, I want you to come over. J Jason in Michigan. Uh, wait a minute. Hold am on. I, where am I going? 
And Phil Meyer is calling. Uh, Hold on a second. Uh, people, I have to change things, okay? All right. Uh, Why don't you come over here and sit next to me? Sit on okay. Daddy's lap? Yeah, sit on. Sit on <laughs> Take Marjorie's place. Uh, okay. Do I need and, to move and, this? Uh, what? Do I need to move no, this? you don't need the, okay. that. You can talk into this yeah. one. But now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to talk I got, Alex's I, microphone. I got to suddenly bring all these people in here. Uh, let me do this. First, uh, let's see here. You are. Uh, Three. What is your? What's the name you're using, Jason? Is it like three a.m.? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. And there's uh, there's to go to the two a.m. There's Phil. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me just um, move you guys over. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get this thing to work. There we. There so we yeah, go. Albert, you next. You might need to sit on his lap for us to huh? see you. You, you. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Albert, Alex actually made you take the bus. He didn't go pick you up when your when your plane had to land early, you know. Uh, well, What's nobody made here? me take the bus. I was stupid enough to take the bus. It's it's <laughs> it, hands down, without any thought at all, the worst travel experience I've ever had. And that, that doesn't mean I was really put out by it, but it was just very uncomfortable. It was your version of hey. trains, planes, and automobiles. And I sat 80. right next to John Candy, by the way. <laughs> right. I sat right hey, next to the fattest guy on the plane. On a plane. Yeah, I, I, on a bus, and they were all using the same bathroom. No, 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 no. Not me. I didn't get in there. <laughs> you didn't bathroom. go in there? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, no. That's what the Joyce Kilmer rest stop on the Jersey Turnpike is for. That's uh, I where see. I make my pee-pee. The, the Joyce Kilmer, is there one? <laughs> that's a, that's a, there, but there is. There is, really? That's how I knew I was close to New York, Joyce Kilmer. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Here, here comes Dan. Let me just uh, bring Dan in here. And uh, let me see here. Let me uh, put his uh, picture in here. Uh, let me see here. How uh, well, sophisticated. He, Look he, at this. He's not there yet. Hold on a second. Cancel. Hello. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do we have a picture on you? We do have a picture on you, so we can then bring this in here. Let me see uh, here. It looks like somebody got a haircut. Mr. Dan. Who, me? Yeah, oh, Alex. Dan. Yeah, yeah I, it's so, it was so nice, this haircut. That I that I decided to not wear the cap for a while until I it starts growing well, out. That's what it bad. was. That because when I first saw you, I, I thought, boy, you really look different. And I've seen your hair that short. It's the cap mm -hmm. that I'm missing. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I, I figure I kind of look better, don't I? Well, no, that's kind of. I like it. I, I like I like the bald look. Yeah, that's like saying this turd looks better than the other turd. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what's Uncle Fester's real name? Uh, 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 that was uh, uh, what's his name? The kid actor. Uh, yeah, Jackie uh, Coogan. Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan. Yeah. Well, you, you know, hey, if you gained a few more pounds back, you'd look just like Jackie Coogan. No, I wouldn't look just like Jackie Coogan. Okay, he didn't have a beard. Tuesday uh, night. <laughs> Tuesday night, he'll have a, a a light bulb in his mouth, and then we'll all we'll all be able to tell. <laughs> That's a funny idea. I should do that. Yeah. I should get one of those those trick ones yeah, that trick actually light, light yeah. up. You know. Yeah. When you when you do it, um, but uh, this is our this is our our citizen panel so Beautiful. far. That Beautiful. might might be it, you know, for all we know. Um, but anyway, how you guys doing? Doing pretty well. Um, nice seeing Albert. It's good to see um, you, Dan. Kind of we met oh, we met him. Uh, I think uh, you should put put Albert on on Monday nights. Hey, he's looking old too, though. Mm. Well, me, what you happened love, to your hair, man? You like the white hair? Yeah, it like changed yeah. quick, huh? I think it because I go swimming a lot. I think that the uh, chlorine is uh, is moving that out to white now. I'm huh. not sure. That's my excuse anyway. But it's still here. Check it out. It's nice and fluffy. <laughs> Come on. I just realized the other day when my beard started growing out a little bit, I was like, "Holy shit!" This year it all turned white. Yeah, that's the first <laughs> thing that gets white is the beard. Are you go, you, are you gray from the bottom up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right in the yeah. center first, and then it goes out, and then the yeah. side burns a little bit. It started with two little lines right yeah. here. Now you then... never grew any facial hair, did you? Oh hell yeah, I had I had the horseshoe mustache. Oh for yes, a while. you did yeah, yes. for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I but remember. That, that really made me look old when it started getting. No, real what you white. looked like was uh, like uh, a member of the uh, like white Dan. the white nationalists. <laughs> that was their you kind of like me? mustache. Yeah, I beg no. your pardon. <laughs> The little swastika in my head didn't give it away? No. It was no. just the mustache, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, if uh, Charlie Manson ever said, gee, I'm really sorry I did this. 
you know, with the forehead. I don't think he said, I'm sorry I did anything. Yeah. He's kind of like, he, he's kind of very similar to Trump in that way. Oh, he'll never say I'm sorry. He'll Everything never say he did was right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. By Trump the way, was very similar to Trump. I mean, Trump is very similar to Charlie Manson because neither of them killed anybody. That's right. I didn't kill it. nobody. Charlie Manson, famous for yeah, saying but, that. But, you know, the thing is that, that uh, about, about uh, uh, Albert is that he was the first guy I ever knew who could do an impression of Donald Trump. It wasn't even an impression. Just it stringing wasn't, a couple of words well, together. Yeah, but, well, yeah, and it was it was constant, but it was very funny, and, and we always did it because yeah, well, we thought he was just a hoot. Yeah, he's not going to win. It's yeah. just a goof. He's just this yeah. goofy guy running for president. Yeah. He's just the guy on The Apprentice. Yeah, but what, Holy what, what, shit, were we wrong? But you kept just saying one catchphrase over and over again. Many, many people. Many, many people many, say. Many, many people say, believe me. That's another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's you all you need was a couple going. of those things. Right. But, yeah. Or you got to get this one, and then this one, and then this one. Yeah. And then now you got to sweat, because today you, you see today, pictures you today. You see him wow. sweat today? Nice. Boy, nice he, sweaty was, mess. he was spritzing. Yeah. He was, oh, boy. Oh, you're sorry, Phil. I know he's your hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the way it goes. Our guy will come along. Well, not, not our guy, because I'm not affiliated with a party. But another guy will come along, and you can make fun of that guy. You can't know. say guy. Or it's gal. Be a person. Gal. Can I say gal? Use the <laughs> no. old word, old-timey word? Just, Hashtag just, me, too. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. Just like it's not Latino anymore. It's Latinx. <laughs> So you're Oof. swimming. Is it Oof. the ocean? I take offense uh, to that. But l l <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So, Albert, you say you're doing a lot of swimming. Yeah, I do. Uh, is it in the ocean or in no, a pool? No, it's a pool. pool. I don't really care okay. for the ocean that much. No. I don't like the salt uh, water, but the pool Aren't they I having love. some issues in Florida? Red tide or? Uh, that's so. going on all over the place. I wouldn't, yeah. go, I wouldn't you know, go into the, the ocean. This fake anything. global warming, uh, flesh bacteria, or flesh eating bacteria virus, or whatever yeah. the hell it is, is uh, becoming more prevalent. But good thing global warming's fake. Whatever's yeah. going to get me is going to yeah. get me. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it's nice to hey, know. I, I'm improving warming. my carbon footprint. I'm now on a plant-based diet. I, you know, you guys are are the are the evil ones. Me being plant-based, I have less of a carbon footprint. Are you? So, you know, I'm, I'm on a plant-based well, diet too. Now. <laughs> here, here, here's how much we fucked up uh, the carbon footprint. What do we have for dinner tonight? A ribs. Yeah. Ooh, good uh. Hey, Alex. Yeah. There's a. It's right. a Tony Romos. I don't. It used Roma. to be a restaurant. Tony Romo. Right? Tony Romo. Tony Roma. Right. They they have a, like at Meyer, the one of the grocery stores I go to. Love Meyer. They have it's. It's uh, it's re, you know, there are already cooked ribs. You put them in the oven for like 20 minutes. Yeah. They are so freaking good. Really? What do you got, Lloyd's? What? There's no, a company he, called Lloyd's no, that no, makes he, pre cooked ribs. He's talking ribs. about Tony Roma's pre cooked Oh, Tony ribs. Roma's pre cooked ribs. Yeah, they, yes, I think they, are they so sell good. Them, I think they sell those at Costco. And years ago, I tried them. And quite frankly, I just prefer to make them myself because I do such a better job than they do. Great ribs. He made ribs. Is tonight. Tony Great Roma's ribs. restaurant still open? Yes. I remember the yes. one in Hawaii. There was one I used to go to in Palm Springs, and there was one in Beverly Hills. There's one and by me. There is one by you? Yes, they're still open. Uh, yeah, because all the other ones are closed. See, I knew the name, but I'd never, never seen them. Probably what's happened with small. what's probably happened with the ribs that come prepackaged for Tony Roma is they probably got the right to package. It was yeah, named, licensing. Yeah, yeah they it. licensed it yeah, out. Right. Uh, and probably most of the stuff is licensing now, rather than actually. Uh, undoubtedly, it's it's you know it's still. The, Al, whoever uh, does it, they do a good. It's still rib. the Ill illegal immigrants coming in, cutting up the pork <laughs> right. at very low uh, rates, being paid for that, and then they slap their name on it. Cutting the pork? Alex, Are they congressmen? <laughs> Why? There's 685 jobs available in Mississippi right now, so if you're yes. looking for work, <laughs> but, <laughs> but the CEO job is still taken. And yeah. what, and what company uh, is that with? They'll get them. What company is are those jobs with? Because I never Coke, hear what company uh, is with. There's some food preparation Coke. companies. I, Coke, I don't know that. Coke it, it, Foods. Give me the uh, names wait, of the wait, companies. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Coke Foods. Is that the Coke Brothers? It, it's not the Coke Brothers. No, but it's Coke Foods. No. Is that what they've said? Because I, yeah, I, 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 I see all the reports. Several. I never see what the company is that's hiring all these illegal immigrants right. that you are know, being raided by ICE. What? The, what? Are, who are these companies? And they why, need why are to they go not after getting their penalties? Their names that, they that I know of. after the that, CEO. What they've been yeah, doing is they've been showing on TV over and over again that little girl crying. You seen that? Yeah. 
Where's yeah. my daddy? Yeah. Well, what are you making fun Where's about my that? my daddy? What are you making fun of that for? Yeah, who's going to cook our dinner? Uh, are you going to say the little girl was a plant? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, I'm sure he's going to say that. one little girl with where's my daddy one, and one, running it one. over uh, and over again. Hey, you know, Phil, you know what? The next thing they'll Phil. ask you to do is donate money to Haiti, you know, uh, f- with Bill Clinton. Phil. Bill doesn't raise his hand, yeah. Jason. Why yeah. don't don't even bother? Jason, I just have to say, Phil. Go ahead. You Jason. guys invaded our land a long time ago. How does it feel? We're invading you back. Hey, <laughs> you know now you finally got a, a leader that will stand up. Uh, We're all invasion. standing up. Yeah. You know, you know what do you got? Sombreros. You know. No, but I mean, well, it, it, we got people. I mean, We're taking back fun, over the country. You're making one fun of that, at a time. Little, that little mm-hmm. girl, yeah. and the, you know. Hey, you have two daughters, and, and, don't and, you? And what are you going to say? <laughs> that is, she's like a plant. Is that what you're going to say? You know. Well, y- you always find one. Where's my daddy? You know, and, and it's probably not her daddy anyway. Yeah. Fake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fake. Food. You know, That's not fake yeah. at all. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know excuse what me, everybody. If the uh, if, excuse the me, daddy. excuse me if the picture froze, but for some reason I uh, I did something wrong here. It's but too we're, much we're fine now. The forehead. We're, we're Charlie's fine. here, huh? Charlie's here. Charlie's here. Hi, Charlie. Yes, Dan. Okay. See this? This huh. is the DNA results. Dan is the daddy. <laughs> yeah. But here's okay. the thing. Here, right. Here's the thing. Are you going to say that little girl was a plant? Is that what you're going to say? That she was really, it wasn't the little right girl. Right now, uh, uh, everything that, is that a it plant. Was, it was OAC playing a little girl? I, yeah. And, you know, and I said, right now, everything's a plant because uh, I only juice green stuff. You know, broccoli. Will you stop with that? You, you, we, we know that in about another oh. month, you're going to be back to eating right. pork and everything. Yes, Dan. Yeah. Yes, I want. I wanted to ask you because the other night when we were talking about the shootings, you were talking about how the news media puts the cameras in 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 their face and the microphones in their face, and today we have this little girl from the immigration raid. She's 11 years old, and they put the cameras in her face. But I think that maybe uh, this That's is a situation okay. where we can get some good out of it because. You know, as as bad as it is, it might be exploitive. But you know that well, I heard I, that I heard that tape. It's pretty impactful. I, I didn't see a network person there urging her on. You know, it, it was something she probably was just doing, and they caught it. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's capturing what's going on with real life. What are, what are you, Al Jolson, with that fucking <laughs> glove? What is that Mickey He's Mouse? He's a blackface, but he'd put yeah. it on in a minute if you wanted to. Yeah, um, you know, that's, it's, it's that's for touching photographs. photographs. Yeah, I, uh, uh, yes, uh, Jason. Isn't there a butcher that starts with an S, like a really big uh, meat processing plant or something in the Carolinas? Yeah, Charlie Wants, McPherson. Nobody Wants say swans. Char- it's not swans. It's something like that, though. Nobody Swanson? beats Swanson? Nobody beats Charlie Maybe McPherson's Swanson's. meat. You know, they basically had a deal with ICE for a long time that, like, every once in a while, they would come through and do a raid on their plants. But at the same time, you know, they wouldn't say anything about the raids that they'd do on the plants and they'd ship all these Mexicans back to Mexico. At the same time, they were advertising down in Mexico for jobs at the plant. So they would just ship them back, get some new ones, and bust them up. Here's the interesting uh, note on that whole deal. The Uh, 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 the interesting note on that whole deal is that they did this raid just before payday. <laughs> yeah, yes. Convenient. Yes. Guess who didn't have to get paid? I, now, genius. I, yeah. I bet you they got their pay. No, they didn't. Yeah. Not, they didn't I, get their pay. I, I had heard that there was a labor dispute, and the uh, workers organized. Huh. And the I CEO, I think he's like, we're not going to do that, so I'm, I'm going to call my buddy Trump. Call Don't ice throw and, stones. Uh, Don't throw stones in a glass house. Let me, let me, before we get into all of that, because we don't want to wind Phil up. God forbid we should do that. Too late. That's too late. And by the way, He's more of you out there can call, uh, because we managed to put a, a certain muzzle on Phil, and he's been very good about it lately, and everybody gets their I word in edgewise. Bad. Would you threaten to call ice on his employees to shut him up? No, I threatened <laughs> to call ice on him. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, 
you know, Donald Trump is going against the grain when he's saying that he wants these background checks. He talked to Lane, Lane LaPriere. Well, uh, that, yeah. And uh, talk, they said that they didn't support it. And then Trump said, you know, uh, they may not support it. It'll, it'll, they'll no, be kind of no. neutral with me, but we need these. Uh, uh, to begin with, you can imagine that the call was the, the head of uh, the uh, NRA. NRA. It was Pe Pepe Le Pew. Uh, he, um, uh, uh, they probably the conversation was something like, uh, "Hey, listen, we got to make me look good, and we got to somehow get you guys off the hook. So why don't you just let me say we should go for the background checks, and it'll never happen anyway." What are you, right. Karnak? Yeah, something like that. You know? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm not yeah, Karnak. I'm just logical. Or gets. Voted on. Well, let's ask Donald what he thinks. No, I'm not doing that. Many, <laughs> many people. <laughs> that was a joke bit. It's not a joke anymore. Yeah, I mean, we just we were always joking about Donald Trump, and we we just we never we never figured that that was a possibility. In fact, didn't we maybe at one time joke about? I wonder if he'll ever become president of the United States yeah, or something. Yeah. Well, the Simpsons joked about it, and look what happened. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe maybe we ought to start joking about uh, about Bernie Sanders. No, why don't you joke maybe, about maybe he'll uh, become Trump's maybe he'll third become term. president then. Trump's well, third term. Third term. Yeah, third term. Yeah. Well, uh, if he gets to a second, good. he'll probably get a third because he'll change the rules all over the place. Well, yeah. no, if he if he gets a second term. There won't be a need for a third term because they'll just obliterate I'm, I'm terms. Gonna, I'm going to show you how much the people dictator I'm for life. I'm, I'm you guys want to end the First Amendment, the Second Amendment? Why? You know why not? Uh, when, not what is it? Nobody said first they want to end the First the Amendment. We just want to enforce the Second Amendment. I want to get rid of the whole fucking United States Constitution. It's an old document. It needs to be rewritten. It is rewritten. Well, it's called the amendments. Yeah, but the amendments. But they don't say. You know, uh, you know what happened when they had prohibition? Yeah. They made an amendment to create prohibition. Correct. And then in order to get rid of prohibition, they had to write another amendment to get rid of prohibition. Right. But it didn't all of a sudden, the prohibition amendment didn't like disappear at no. that point. It's still yeah. there. Do you yeah. know what the amendment was that got rid of prohibition? What? I'm just curious if you knew which no, one. Was, what, the one that came after it, 19th. It, 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 no, there, it was uh, one in between. Uh, uh, prohibition lasted about 13 years. Mm -hmm. Let's just, I, I'm just trying to make a joke. I'm going to go celebrate that amendment. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, hey, uh, is, is my mic too hot? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Uh, uh, but, you know, I mean, um, uh, it's kind of interesting that, uh, uh, here's the thing I wanted to ask, though. This is uh, the big one. Uh, you've heard about Equinox, right? Yeah, the, uh, oh, that's the guy that's throwing a party for Trump, and uh, he owns a company that uh, people like with a uh, life life cycle or well, something. Where Soul, they ride there on are two companies that Soul he, cycle, he owns, Soul cycle. Soul cycle and Equinox. Right. <laughs> Guess where Marjorie goes to work out? Soul cycle. Uh, no, or Equinox. Equinox. Yeah. And I said to her, I said, you know, she's always sitting there and going, you know, Trump's doing this and Trump's doing that and Trump's doing this and Trump's doing that and that motherfucker cocksucker, blah, 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 blah. Are you going to quit Equinox? No, I need to work <laughs> out. I, 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 my, 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 uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Subscription or right. whatever it is. My membership doesn't yeah, end good. until next, uh, next February. Yeah. I said, in February, are you going to quit? Well, I don't think so. I said, how committed are you? Hey, I, I go to Starbucks, and I have no problem with that. Why, you know, uh, people say Chick-fil-A, no good because this guy doesn't like this, and uh, now uh, Soul Cycle and Equinox is no good because this guy's throwing a party for Trump. You know, I, I, don't, please, I don't think please, those things please, are legit. Please, please don't call it Chick-fil-A because the Me Too movement will not like that. Huh? To, uh, Chick-fil-A. Me too. Oh, oh me might, too. Yeah. Forget it. I did try. Charlie's the constitutional scholar here. He's yes. got the answer. <laughs> uh, let's it look at the 18th Amendment that prohibited liquor, and it was the 21st Amendment ah. that repealed the 18th Commandment. And uh, what came in between those? And, and what's what's the one that uh, says a president can only have uh, two terms? That's the 22nd Amendment. And that's going to be repealed by which one? 
by probably Donald Trump <laughs> by by an executive order. But wait yeah. a minute. Yeah, the tw- well, that that amendment had to happen after uh, after FDR, obviously. Right. So how many amendments are there now? Twenty. I think, um, there's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Boy, you've yeah. got the Constitution at home. The Constitution of the United States. I keep that's it the, right that's here. Mao's red book. <laughs> yeah, why, why is it red? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I have a blue copy too. So okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It just happened. That's what they printed that day. Yes, yeah. He's holding up the good old Republican red Constitution. Well, what yeah. do, what do you guys think the about blue this? one? Has what, no what, amendments. What do you think about this whole Equinox thing? I mean, tonight the guy who owns Equinox was holding a party out on the Long Island where Donald Trump was going to show up to raise money for the Trump campaign. Okay. Yeah, 250k a piece uh, if you wanted to sit at the table with Trump, and I think 100k if you just wanted to get a picture. How with about him. if you want to be as far away from him as is humanly possible? Cost you nothing. Hey, <laughs> you know, Paso, Texas got a great deal. Got a picture for free. Yeah, right. Uh, they'll they'll send them a tax bill. All right. Well, I say lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Lock him up. Lock him yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, but no, just, just, just put a lock on all of his establishments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait I a mean, minute. That's... Here comes Tony. Hey, Ep- Epstein's uh, 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 cronies are uh, getting uh, beat up by uh, uh, someone that says that she was a sex slave. Yeah. Uh, for Epstein and that she made it with Why a bunch you of... bring up Epstein, film Because you know Epstein is going to lead right to your guy, Trump. Actually, the the girl that is claiming that she was a sex slave uh, said that she never had sex with Trump, that Trump was on the plane, and that uh, she never saw Trump have uh, sex with anyone. So, uh, you know, and this is the one she's suing Epstein. Oh, I've never seen Trump have yeah, sex with anyone never either. But <laughs> mean, you've, never seen anyone, so small. you've never seen anyone have sex, including yourself. Well, you know, you know um, uh, uh, I, I'm like or six, with yourself. I'm like six degrees of separation from Epstein in that my yeah. dear friend, uh, uh, Bobby Slayton, Bobby always Slayton. used to come to New York. And he had a friend here in New York who owned an apartment building. And he had an apartment that he left open so that friends could stay at this apartment. And uh, he was good friends with uh, Woody Allen and introduced Bobby to Woody Allen. And his name was Epstein. Now you're uh, going to have to put up hell. Put yeah. him up. Hey, you yeah. know what? <laughs> yeah, you're, so. you're Epstein's neighbor. You know, what do you mean? He lives in Manhattan. You live in Manhattan. Well, he's also Trump's neighbor. He's also, uh, well, you no, know, no, Trump, Trump Bill de Blasio's right. neighbor. Huh? That that's true. I'm sure he's De Blasio's neighbor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, well, won't you be my neighbor, <laughs> Mr. Rogers? Yeah. Well, I think we should just let Epstein go if he promises never if he promises never to do it again. Uh, I I think that uh, Clinton and a bunch of the Dems are going to uh, go down with the Epstein thing. I wouldn't use the term that's, that's "go down." I wouldn't use the term "go down." It's not. Well, hey, you know, and. Uh, my 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 shooting club, not not the one I belong to, but the one that has the fourteen clubs in it, the the main club, mm-hmm. issued a, uh, a a memo today that the word shooter should be uh, stricken from uh, photography speak. Now, as as a photographer, you know, you say I'm going out on a shoot. You know, uh, well, they said you shouldn't say that. You should say I'm going to capture an image. Oh not, Jesus not Christ! Gonna... <laughs> uh... <laughs> That, that was today. On, uh, well, you know, know, I, get, was, I get an email. There's, there's that, a, and that's what I said. But come on. There's an know. old argument I used to make about the word fuck and that it should be allowed to be said in broadcasting and anywhere possible because it is a singularly um, uh, exclusive word. It is the only word you can use to describe that act in one word. Okay? Everything else you have to go make love, have sex, whatever. Fuck is am I right? I can't think of any other word it's better than fuck yeah. to bang. say. Bang, huh? Bang, screw. No, How no. Can you argue with that hey, logic. You know, when Bone? when I still could, I I would say to my girlfriend, Boff, uh, Boff. you want to fuck? And she says, No, 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 no. We gotta make love. I don't fuck. You, know. you got the wrong you girl. Know. Uh, no, I think you you, you got the added wrong on girl, all the rest. Buddy. I think she just said, No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the first wife. 
Well, I, th I think you, you make love to a woman when you just want to get her to fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably true. That's, but, that's a good point. Yeah. But the, <laughs> the At least word. you bring flowers, chocolate, and you take them to dinner, you know. Really? Is there such a thing? Do you take them to dinner and buy them chocolates and flowers? If you look like me, you do. If, usually, you know, you like usually, some of the other guys. Usually, <laughs> you know, my, my, all I have to do is stand there. Well, my policy always was I would send them flowers and chocolates after I had sex with them. Yeah. Okay. As a, Shit, as, a, as a bonus. As a thank you gift. It's a thank you gift. So did Epstein. Epstein <laughs> usually left 300 on the table. That's right. <laughs> Look, you That's know, right. to begin with, we don't know what the story is with Epstein. I mean, I'm sure it's nothing good. But Bobby yeah. said to me, I was surprised as hell to find out about him. He Didn't said he because, know his, he his said because he, there, was never, there was never a hint of it when I was around him. But I thought he, uh, he had exploits in Florida, what was it, 14, uh, 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 several years ago? Uh, and that's what he was convicted of. Well, Bobby knew and, him in Florida. He used to come out to see him play at the clubs down there. You know, that's uh, how he, Epstein was a fan of Bobby's. Yeah. And that's why when Bobby, you know, Bobby always used to say to me, I'm coming to New York uh, and I'm staying at this friend's place. Okay. And I didn't know the friend was uh, Epstein. You know. Yeah, who would have thought? And he said that, you know, he was very surprised. And in fact, so was Woody. Uh, it was very surprised. But wanted yeah, to stay as far away says. as no. Wanted to stay. Doesn't as, Woody have a record of his own? Well, no. He wanted no. to stay as yeah. he wanted to stay as far away from that situation as possible because of all the you know the shit he went through. Wow. Um, yeah. But uh, and I'm sure Woody didn't you know use Epstein to get laid. You know. No, he I had mean, his own daughter. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. It wasn't his daughter. Please, it was true. his stepdaughter. Right. It was I'm one sorry. of the flotsam and flotsam and jetsam of the world <laughs> that Mia Farrow seemed to collect like so many pennies, you know. No, no, she was adopted. <laughs> Who, Mia Farrow? No, oh. the uh, oh, the daughter. Geez. But she was adopted by by Andre Previn and Mia Farrow, not by right. Woody Allen right. and Mia Farrow. Correct. She was adopted by Mia Farrow. She, it wasn't uh, the Floxum and Floxum and Jetsum. Well, the, was, no. How many kids did she have? That she was just taking kids off the streets from around the I world. The original you know? Madonna. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Why? She's, why uh, am I seeing a fan? Where I should uh, be oh, seeing. Oh, my fan back on it. I just. <laughs> His phone fell. Yeah, you know, this whole yeah. idea of a citizen panel really sucks. Yeah. That, that was a phone fail. Phone fail. A phone fail? Oh. I do now. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. That's much better. That's much better. Oh, uh, do you have Snoopy sheets? No, I don't those, have Snoopy are those Snoopy? sheets. Are those Snoopy? They look like Snoopy. You, know, you really cool. should get make sure, you know, they do have a thing now where you can blur out your background. Right. Not on his, not on his phone. And, and, yeah. and I would suggest it, I, right now. I would suggest it for, for you and for Tony. I would suggest it for you and for Tony because we're seeing that wallpaper again. I like you the know. wallpaper, Tony. You like you, you what? I do. You love the paneling. I got a new. We got a new sofa for her. By the way, I was talking to my uh, wife. Uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Girlfriend. Marjorie. Uh, uh, girlfriend. Marjorie. Girlfriend. Marjorie. Marjorie. <laughs> About you tonight, because uh, there was an ad on TV that says, you know, when you're, when, when, you know, life got me down and I was getting older and I needed help, and now I have somebody here that's all the time to help me, and then it's my daughter, and she's getting paid to take care of me. Wow. That's me. And that's you. And, and, I, she and, and I said, no, that's, ex I said, that's what Tony's doing. He says, how much does he make? And I said... I don't know, and I came up with anywhere between thirty-five and fifty thousand a year. Is that what you well, get paid? I'm getting twenty an hour, but then okay. I get I get overtime of uh, eight hours a week. It built in. I can't go past forty-eight hours. Okay, and how much so, does that come out to then? Uh, twenty an hour uh, times forty-eight. Yeah, uh, so I get plus time and a half on uh, so I'm getting eight hundred straight up, and then thirty an hour times eight is what a two forty. Yeah. So I'm getting eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, well, about eleven forty, almost twenty grand a year. Uh, yeah. eleven hundred a week. Uh, uh, every, uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, a week. So yeah. how much well, is that a year, yeah. Phil? That's over fifty grand. Yeah. you're making yeah. over fifty. Yeah, of course, a thousand is fifty-two grand. 
I mean, I'm not coming home yeah. with that. Said Uncle Sam comes in, and they, and in three months, I get full insurance. That's you get the health insurance as well. Yeah. Did I tell her? <laughs> did I tell her fifty yeah. grand? And, yes. and and yeah. and uh, hey, Albert, she thought it was close to thirty. Take care of Alex and and make. I'll 50 do. I can't do. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. wife can do that. Do I took my care wife. of my mom for two years. Well, Where is my money? No, you. you Tony, how do I get this it's money? It's Tony, it's you're left. not in New York. I don't think it necessarily has to be a relative. It can just be somebody you designate yeah. that you want to have take care of you. I oh my God, we're stuck with the fucking wallpaper. Look at that. We're stuck I with the find fucking some wallpaper. Old person, take care of him. Well, I won't be doing it. I won't be taking care of you. You won't be. No, because <laughs> I'll start drooling and have my wife take care of me. So <laughs> she's gonna get the money. Oh, and okay. you're going to have to find your own caretaker. Do you think you're going to wind up drooling? <laughs> oh, I do it now. Oh, I see. Okay. I do it now. And, and Alex, you know what I do get too? Uh, they call me today, by the city, my contact in the city. Like, I guess my manager. Every hour I get a, it's like a, almost every week I, get, I accumulate PTO, pay time off. So every week it's about almost four and a half hours a week for your time off. So I'm getting like two days off a month, a little over two days off in the bank. But you can also use that just to take a vacation, right? Yeah. Take and, a while, vacation, and while you're yeah. gone, what happens and to your mother? The city doesn't she, have she any money. She just swallows her own vomit? What what happens with your mother no, when you you're gone? Happens, exactly. Yeah, when you're on vacation, you have some beats. Go to a film con, right? Which I would like to do. Mm-hmm. Just put her in the closet. No, my sister's my backup. So she's already enrolled. She went to the drug testing and everything. So when my sister, if I put in, like I'll give them, say, three months in advance, I need three days off, right? And then my sister will be my backup and be at the house. And then she punches in with her ID and all that, and she covers for me while I get paid. What? Say this about drug testing again? There's, there's, yeah, that's a flaw in the system there. Yeah, yeah you know for you to, there is. That's no good. That's <laughs> no good. You have to get drug tested Absolutely. for this? What, what happened is I was in Flushing getting drug tests. My sister took me there. And you have to do the blood work, full physical. So I was fine. I'm not on any medication. There was a guy who says when you had to go take the pee, one of the guys got up and walked out. <laughs> he was on drugs. I said, he's leaving. Oh, really? He wouldn't even go to a pee test. Now, who I gives you this money? Who, who's paying you to do this? <laughs> it's, it's the city of New York. The city of yeah. New York? Yeah. Is that the only city that Aussie. does this? I, I could have been getting paid for you had to take care of my mom. You're in the Where do you state. live? It took like uh, three months. I had to get cleared. They even fingerprinted me. <laughs> so, so, man, drug you smoke pot, man. Right? I never so, so everybody, everybody you, 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 Dan, Dan really? smokes pot, so he would have he would have been disqualified. Now, I can't take care of myself. Got to left, Phil. Well, let me, we, let let me ask you this question, though, Tony. You have to work. 40 hours a week plus a, yes. the eight overtime. Plus eight hours. Yes. How do you prove that you actually work that? That you just oh, didn't you're going to laugh at this. You know what I do? Your sister has what? to approve. I call in from the and I can and and I just call out. That's it. As long as it's from this phone. So I'm I'm home all the time. But say if I'm running at the store, so I have to call in and call out. And my mm-hmm. time straight. They don't even check up. She checks up on me once in a while. They'll call myself. You have to wear an ankle. So I can bracelet? actually be. I could be by Shecky's house, say at one o'clock, and say, <laughs> "Oh, I got to punch out at three, and my sister's watching my mom, and I'll just come home as long. I'm not leaving her by herself. But they don't even check on me, really. So, so you're admitting like, your to fraud the the on the internet here? That's not a good idea. No, just don't say no. no I don't think they catch you. <laughs> hey, but, uh, I mean, Tony, I don't really uh, I'm going to recommend to the Blasio that he get you an ankle bracelet so they can <laughs> monitor where you are. <laughs> I would, but I, no joke, I would never leave. Like, if I go out for an hour, I'll yeah. have my neighbor watch her. Way. She's okay for an hour, but if I went away for three hours, which I won't do, then I would have somebody cover for me. You like break up every now and then, but you should move your, your machine yeah, back to be, where it was. Yeah, because oh, yeah, the other, the other day, we want to yeah. see the new sofa. This is the new sofa. <laughs> yeah, the new sofa. Wait a minute, turn the lights and you on. you threw the old sofa out, just like. An old sofa. Oh, there we go. There's the wood oh, panel. That's beautiful. Huh? <laughs> huh? That's, that's much beautiful. better. Boy, who for the Yeah. That's the they set of that '70s show, they show they isn't it? it? Yeah, I think what's, so. What's yeah. radars? You bought that radars? Ray 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 who? I had to tip the guy a hundred to take the old couch out. He wouldn't do it. I said, "Buddy, you're taking it." Wait a minute. Now you're really breaking up. You, oh really? Yeah. I'm going for the, the router. Maybe I should call you back. Where's the router? Right in front of me, over here by my Nintendo. Oh, well, it's okay. Now. My it's Nintendo. okay now. What, do, <laughs> Not don't, even don't, do that. don't do that. You look. You're, I actually got the switch. You're it's looking like cool. Stevie Wonder when you do that. You know. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, any better? Tony, so like your only patient is your mom, right? Yeah, they won't let you get anybody else because of my hours. Like if they if you want like if the lady told me down the road we may we can extend your hours. Would you want to help somebody else in the area? I don't really want to do it because I'm already working forty eight hours. Okay, but but let me ask you this: like you know, yeah. say heaven forbid your mom passes away, mm-hmm. would you okay. want to continue to do that and help somebody? You else? know what? I think I would because I'm actually really getting fulfillment out of it. I mean, I I help some of the old people around my area here. Like I was watching a lady who somebody asked me, "Can you keep?" You know, he couldn't make it home, so I was there an hour or two. I kind of like it because the old people know you in the area. They don't even really know. They don't trust anybody. So, so wiping somebody's ass trust. is better. Is wiping somebody's ass is better than folding uh, hat boxes? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I actually. It pays I'm better. I and actually, it's not as hot. I actually enjoy it because I have patience with. Yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, I feel kind of fulfilled by it, really. I mean, she drives me a little crazy, but I'll make jokes and stuff. So sure. I, I don't know who would drive who more crazy. Um, uh, uh, she, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Your mother driving you crazy, or you driving her crazy? I think I drive her crazy. Hey, Alex, I, tell I think you only have a couple of more years to find out. Tony will be over there wiping your ass, and you'll be able to find out. <laughs> yeah, get, but he'll bring a hat box. Get him out of here. Can, take can you him. take on other clients? Yeah. Are you allowed That's to take on other clients? In the future, if they extend me, then I could. It's up to me, though. Yeah. Like, I it's have a couple of people around the area who are all looking for people, like, off the books. They're like, one guy asked me, he says, would you want to watch my dad, like, for three hours on a Sunday? I may do it in the fall. I mean, I don't know. It's up to me, really. Well, I don't, you know, you I, know, like right now, I feel I have to because of the ribs, I have to go to the bathroom and I will have the trots, and I could, I could use somebody like you to wipe my ass, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> baby wipes. I can make lunch shots. Get out there with, hey, uh, do you use the baby wipes or you just get out there with the uh, straight paper, you know, the Charmin, the, the brown paper towel. Is, is this not? <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this conversation. <laughs> are you? Are you really? Yes. Why? What makes you uncomfortable? <laughs> Uh, you're talking about wiping people's asses. Yeah, that makes yeah, me I don't uncomfortable. Wipe them. Well, I mean, yeah. let's face it. If we live long enough, if I live long enough it's and you live long enough, we're going to need somebody to do that. But I'm not wiping anybody's I, ass. No, I'll you're tell not, you right now. I'm not asking well, you to. Okay. We're asking, like we're asking Tony, who would you rather have wipe your ass, some stranger so, or Tony? So you're saying Tony's an ass wipe? Well, we're not ass wipes, but Tony's an ass wipe. He is a. Uh, I'm asking hold what on a he second. Uses to Wait a minute. Hold on a second. He is a trained <laughs> ass wipe. Trained ass wipe, right? He's a certified <laughs> ass wipe. <laughs> Tony and drug free. And drug free. Never get to that point. <laughs> pull the plug. Any of the valuables. I would. I would actually like my the person who takes care of me to be high though. Tony, what is what is the extent? I mean, what is the the extent, the worst thing, the craziest thing that you might have to do or you have done mm-hmm. in, in the service? Yeah, because I have friends you know, who, who's, who's, whose 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 parents are older, honest. and they and they they wash them and they clean them, but I don't know what yeah. the extent is. Yeah. Like to what extent so far, my mom? I'll be I'll be honest. You're breaking up uh-huh. again. He does that on purpose. Oh, just, she had an accident because she was sick. Like uh, she had a cold in the stomach, so I mm-hmm. did have to actually really wipe behind me and clean, clean her. Yeah. Which is, yeah. I felt bad because she was upset. I said, "Mom, don't worry about it," because my sister was in, was in school at the time. By the way, so but I, usually my sister handles that. Okay. By the way, take your uh, your your port, uh, laptop and just kind of move it a little bit. Turn it in another direction, because you're still breaking up. You're, I know. I don't know why. The files is shit. Do you have uh, a cable that you can run from the laptop to the to the router? No, I don't have a longer one. I'd get a direct connect. Yeah. yeah you got to do that I'm next time. And tilt, your, tilt your thing down, your camera. Yeah, well, you look what like you Kilroy that? was here. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kilroy was here. I mean, here. at least we... Me, oh, it's getting worse. You know what I'm yeah, going to yeah, yeah, yeah. I may reconnect. I'm going to call you back. Okay, call All me right. back. All right. Well, so um, hey Albert. Yeah. You always used to make fun of me about the beer I drank. What are you drinking? This one. (laughs) Masagave. I made fun of that. What did you use to drink? Coors Light. Oh yeah, well that's garbage. (laughs) Didn't they say that the Dos Equis that they were putting pee in it at one time? Uh, The guys from Coors uh, said that the Dos Equis, you know, the double X's. Yeah. 
Sure, and Carpet 2 says that Carpet 1 is just lining their <laughs> carpets with pubic hair. Oh, no, it's true. It's the world. There was a thing, there was a, something running around where uh, a, a rumor mm-hmm. uh, where they said that they were doing that. Now here, I know it's not by, true. By the way, we are being is, joined now from Kuala Lumpur by Bree. Uh, he- hello, hello, Bree. Say hello so we can see your picture. Okay. Hello, hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can, can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, just, right. uh, let me do this so that people can see you. Bree is in I wish that I knew there was a way to get a hold of Ren because she always like complains, like, I didn't know Albert was on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, but- why you got to watch Gabnet every night. <laughs> And you gotta That's watch. Right. You gotta watch the ramble every night. And by the way, if you haven't called it in a long time, I don't see why I should let Rin call just to talk to Albert. Because you should. Oh, because I should. Because you should. Right. All right. It's a nice thing to do. All right. Okay. Don't let anybody on but Doug. Well, she calls Damien's show. No, she lets yes. him on. Huh? I say no, you no, no. let Doug on one once in a while. Doug was on last time I was here. Really? Yes, he was on. And then then I think a few nights later I had to dump him again. I'm not surprised. You know. (laughs) I'm just... Huh? So anyway, uh, you're better now. But Tony never answered the question I asked. What was the question? Oh, no, he did. He did. did. What? Uh, About about what, what kind of stuff would you do... Because I don't know. Well, I about prefer to know stuff. that if he were going to wipe my ass, what he would do it with. Is he going to use those uh, those oh, uh, those wet wipes or the, uh, baby wipes? Baby That's wipes. See, he's a professional. Okay, yeah. He knows yeah. this yeah. stuff. Do you flush I them get or do you not? put them in a can? Get a rash. Do you flush them or you do you put them on top shelf? I don't want to get a. You don't want to get a rash. Then you're going to get all red. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. considerate. Do you have? Can I? Can I ask you this, Tony? Can I just ask you this? This is not. Oh, God, I shouldn't ask this yeah. question. Uh, <laughs> do you ever have to do this for your mother? Yeah, that's what he well, said. That's what he's talking about. Okay. One time I had to. My sister usually does that, though. But she couldn't make it in time because she had an accident. Hey, she had, like, Tony, a just push her down the stairs and <laughs> oh, leave see? her there. You just keep calling in. You'll get that's, paid. That's, you know? yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. You don't go down but there anymore. Anyway. Tony, I have to say, I, re- I really do she's, admire she's, what you're doing. Uh, uh, Money or not, that's a. I mean, these these are your parents. This is your family. This is what you do for people. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think that's a great thing you're doing. I feel, like, I feel good to do it in Japan. Huh? Yeah. Japan? You know, Japan, they take care of the old like people. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, you know who I want to talk to here for a moment is Bree, okay? Because yeah. we haven't talked to him in a couple of days. How are things going in your move to Kuala Lumpur? And. Uh, it's, it's going well. Uh, I'm still living in the student dorm, mm-hmm. but I just got pictures oh. today of the new uh, house, mm-hmm. uh, and so it's looking good. And I will. I have to move in on uh, thir- uh, Wednesday night. Uh, I will pay the money, and then we'll move it on Thursday. But it's a lot of money up front, and uh, I don't really have a way to access my money. So I asked my employer to reimburse me for the move, and they're moving as quick as they can to try to get that done. Yeah. Why when can't you? Why can't, why can't you lay your hands on your money? I, I mean, it's I your can money. I show you um, a picture of the house. Uh, Oops, I'm sorry. I don't know what. I don't. Know. What? That's the, the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that's his house, um, the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> the house. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Okay. Right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, everybody, be quiet. Know. Let Bree talk. So Say something, the, Bree. Say something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So this is uh, the house. Yeah. That's and nice. We're getting a new washer, a new dryer. Well, I thought you. Were, I thought you were living, oh, in, the living in the washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. That's washer nice. and dryer. It's very Come nice. Come to a motorcycle. Beautiful. Yeah, well, that's one of the workers. Now, is that an apartment so, house or is that an actual house that you're moving? It in? is called a semi D. Semi D town. So it's a townhouse? That's Share right. a wall. Yeah. Duplex? Yeah. 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 The back wall. The back wall we share. And then. Um, Just one other unit or? 
Now, yeah, I, I think I asked right you now, it's empty. Uh, do, do do you pay monthly or for the year? Here, uh, I, here you pay monthly. Okay. For those for yeah. those of us who who don't know the backstory, what's the quick backstory and why you're in Kuala Lumpur? Well, <clears throat> I just I accepted a job here. Oh, good. Um, yeah, I was in Singapore and then uh, over to Dubai, and um, you know it was time to go. Uh, I had sort of plateaued there I felt and I was looking for new challenges here I will be an administrator so I'm adding administration duties okay. basically my first week all I do I, I go to meetings and I sign things and I listen to people's issues so that's what I've been doing good, good. No, that's, uh, that's good yeah anyway. that's just so nuts I'd worry so much about changing jobs because I've had the same job for like almost 20 years that's unheard of now. You work for who? You work for AT&T, right? I work for one of the largest communication companies in America. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> confirm or deny the name of the company. Yeah. Really? Are you afraid of uh, are you retaliation? The, I, let me, let me, no, me, I am not. Let me, ask you, let, me, let me ask you this, Jason. Uh, is there any chance, I don't know what company you work for, that you're going to be able to get complimentary HBO? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. <laughs> I'm worried that my DirecTV discount might go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't they own DirecTV too? No. Yeah, they yeah, do. But they, uh, they might be uh, trying to sell it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, they're divesting. So, uh, Bree, uh, is your family in Kuala Lumpur right now, or are they still yeah. in the States? Yeah. No, they're here. Oh, are they staying in the youth hostel? It's dorm rooms. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And the last thing you want to do is have to stay with hostile youth. So, you know, that's <laughs> not... Is there a sound effect button I for feel, that? No, I don't. I feel like I'm back in Wait a minute, I think, Phil, Phil, you do, you have your, do you have your rim shot out there? But don't, don't. Uh, no, I haven't hooked that up. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you need a bigger uh, since budget I got for the, the new show. Board, well, you, I remember, you remember, I used to tell you yeah. that there were, uh, my main rule, if yeah. I had a rule... It was no rim shot. No cheesy sound effects. No, no cheesy sound effects, but especially no rim Albert shots. Sound effects. Because <laughs> that was always a morning show's way of saying, this is a oh, joke. Yeah. yeah, this is funny. Laugh now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Alex just holds up a card and says, laugh. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Oh, boy. Those ribs are starting to back up on me, I think. I think I can hold it till we get off the air here. But if not, Tony's there. He can run right over and wipe my ass. <laughs> By the way, Tony's not there. He's on the way over now. Oh, he is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's an empty chair hey, there. Do you like so, that wallpaper? That's beautiful. Is that not, that's wallpaper straight out of Psycho. Yeah. You know, that's why Norman Bates went crazy. Have you seen Mom at all? Huh? Have you seen Mom? No, I haven't. Oh, oh we've never, never seen Mom. We've never yeah. seen Mom. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, like what, Norman Bates, huh? Yeah. yeah. What's uh, a Big Bang Theory? Uh, the the guy's mom. You never saw. Her, you only heard her. Right. Yeah. 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 She died, by the way. Lynn Samuels. Yeah. Yeah, she's dead for a while. <laughs> Lynn Samuels. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, how is Lynn, by the way? Uh, she's doing the same, about the same as that guy's mom on TV. She's still dead. <laughs> still dead. Right. Oh, okay. I was, I'm happy. Yeah, to, Lynn I'm, died. I'm, I'm happy to know that. She's, anyway. No, she's just doing show prep. I <laughs> never listened to her. You know, they're, 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 I did all the time. There were all these people, all these people who were mourning over over Lynn Samuels, but they didn't know her like I did. She hated me, didn't yeah, she? She didn't like you at all. She huh? hated me, yeah. and I, I did. I do anything to her? I don't think so. Did I ever put her down on the air? Or do anything like that? Yes. But she, not that I no, know. I didn't. No, no I did not. not. I know. Jason, tell me when I did. I can't name the date, but I think you're like, you know, you just kind of complained about her complaining about you. Oh, that you know, I complained that, yeah. about. Calling her a bitch. Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I called her a bitch, but I complained about her complaining about me and saying, you know, I mean, come on, we all work for the same outfit. You know. How long did you listen, Jason? From the start? Uh, probably not right from the start, but I'd listened for quite a few years. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I listened to Nina Ballerina quite a few times. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, oh, but She's but a uh, um, and and in the latter year, she really liked Keen. She played somewhere only 
we know or something all the time. Yeah, Is he but, in the band? Well, yeah. let me oh. tell you. Let me tell you how much is the, that woman was was loved and adored. Um, <laughs> she was dead for like two or three wait, days. Wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, she, to begin with, she was no, dead she for was about not. two days before. No, she was not. She didn't show up for <laughs> work. Up, right, right. right. And, and, and they, and they, and they called funny. up and they found out within a few hours. No, they called up and the police went. Right, but it wasn't and, a few days. And, and uh, there was no answer at the door, so they right. broke it down and she was dead inside and she had been dead for like a day or two. No, not that long. Uh, anyway, I thought it was a day or two. To I show she was you, cold. to show you how much this woman was loved, we, they the said to me, they said to me, Alex, you're going to do a Lynn Samuels memorial on your show. <laughs> and you said, is there another Lynn Samuels? Yeah, I, that said, I don't know. I, about? I said, is there another satellite company I can go to work for? <laughs> so oh. I said, okay, I will do my very best, you know. And I was what very, girl. I was very honest about it on the show. I said, you know, she never had any great love for me, but, you know, she's going to be missed. I think she was a real talent, which I, I, I convinced myself to so, believe. Then you anyway, have the Lynn Samuels prep sheet. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, so they, they say, we have Lynn's sister on line two. Oh, right, yeah. Right? And so I pick it up and I go, um, um, I, I, and it went something like this. I said, we have Lynn Samuels' sister here. What is one of your memories of Lynn? And she said, what a miserable human being she was. She wasn't an easy person to get along with. <laughs> wow. This is her sister. Yeah. I didn't know that just by listening to her. She was a cantankerous, mean old bitch, wasn't she? Uh, yes, she was. She? And she, because I, I, I had to personally deal with her up in the offices oh, sometimes. Yeah. She did yeah. not. She did not like me at all, and I'd done nothing to her. And I, she didn't like me, and I'd done yeah. nothing to her. She, she was just a miserable person. In fact, I think you will have to agree that I actually respected her all the time when I was in her presence. I think so, yeah. I was always nice yeah. to her. She would say nasty things to me, and I yeah. would still continue to be nice. She was a fucking cunt. She but was really Alex something. Is such if a you lazy ass, to her, can't even take the time to get a prep sheet ready. Hey, yeah. if you would have stood up to her, she would have respected you, and she uh, wouldn't have treated you like shit. Well, you know what it Told was? Her, her cantankerous old bitch. When I got and, there, she was had been there already for a while, not doing a daily show, but because I went there, they gave her a daily show, okay? And... Um, I felt that because she had a certain seniority that I would respect her no matter what. And she always kept trying to egg me on. Yeah. You, you know that, right? Yes. Uh, and I just wouldn't uh, wouldn't go along with it. I, I tried to be as nice as was humanly possible to her. So, I, uh, you know, when she died, I went, well, okay. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's get to this then now. Mm -hmm. You've had a long story, really, really good career. People know you, the industry, throughout the industry. Mm. What, what is your wish? So we don't get it wrong. Mm. What, is your, what would you like to see, those of us in the industry, those of us on the citizen panel, what would you like to see should the day ever come? That, Are you asking that, if he wants to be cremated or buried? No, no. no what kind he, of a tribute would you like? What, 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 I know you're going to get the big New well, York Times. Well, first of, all, first of all, the first tribute I would like, if you want to do something yeah, for me, yeah. is put a tombstone on my mother's grave. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be probably number one. Because I'll do that. Alex never did. Uh, you will do I'll that? I'll do that. You will do I'll that? I'll do that. Because first you're going to have to find out where she's buried, and oh, I can't that remember. Be, that shouldn't be hard. <laughs> you know. That shouldn't be hard. No, but what, 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 you, what do you? Can you what use would paper? you? What would you like as your your memory for you? Um, uh, and I'm sure a lot of people think about this. But he wants say, to be cremated I, and put into well, his for, wife's storage locker. Yeah, right. What What would make you feel? Because <laughs> I, I know you, I know you're not a Bennett death person. You don't like death. But what would make you feel good? Into a book. What would make me feel so, good doing what? A movie. I mean, for, for, for us for us to be around after you're not here, what would you like us and to to do and and look down and say, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. I'm still here. I'm. So, I mean, what? What kind of memorial, what kind of thing would you like us to... Because we're talking about how, how you did the thing for Lynn Samuels, and she was cantankerous, yeah. and you really didn't... And you did a much nicer thing than you should have. Yeah, 
I was I was very. So what would you what would you see as say is the ideal thing? You I mean, would you like to have a lot of comedians come together? Would you like because you have a a, a big comedian uh, uh, friendship? I actually believe if I if I died and they held a memorial service, yeah, about two people would show up. Oh, I don't believe that at all. Uh, oh, I believe that. I don't believe that. I don't. I don't know that many. I don't have any friends. Well, these what? people would show up. Shecky would show up if, if if he didn't have something else to do that day, like That's have a true. theater That's thing. True. You know, That's if it's true. on a Wednesday, forget <laughs> it. Shecky's not coming to if my there's funeral. There's a good deal on sushi. He's yeah, not coming. Don't go during the end of the week, Tony. Tony will show. I up. would go. I mean, I would go. <laughs> you would come. I don't want you there, Tony. <laughs> well, all right. See, that's what I'm getting at. No you don't want Tony there. Tony doesn't go. <laughs> you know, uh, but I would, uh, not, who would come to my funeral? I would come. I'm not talking would, about a funeral. Yeah, I mean, yeah. anything. It doesn't even have to be a funeral. What do you want to have me? You want? You mean? Well, how do I want to be remembered? Yeah, what would you what like? What you would want? you like? I mean, you've said, you've said, you've said, you've talked about old bits in the New York Times, mm -hmm. and you've joked about they probably won't even give. Me. Do you want a, an old bit in the New York Times? Would you like uh, a, a blurb on uh, CNN? Yeah. Would you? I mean, what kind of things would you like? Would you like us to do something? What he wants like? Howard yeah. Stern to admit that he was oh, his see? idol. Oh, oh see, be, there you go. Yes. <laughs> And and, and, and I'm and I'm sure Howard would do it after he's gone, because right. he would never yeah, admit it. Alive. He would never admit it for people who are alive. Yeah, and, okay, and, so and we know he, he has admitted it to people mission. privately. Yes, yes, <clears throat> yeah. I know. And <clears throat> and the universe to acknowledge him as the podcast father, <laughs> father of yes. the podcast. Well, well, the podcast. I, I did create the first podcast. Okay, so that's uh, what, that's all you go. want. <laughs> Created the first podcast. No, that I don't want to be known for that. Okay. What do you what what would you like that I that I was, that I entertain people and I and I and I uh, maybe uh, uh, made their lives a little more fun. Okay. Don't forget the two sports Emmys. And the two yeah. and the one sports <laughs> Emmy. Yeah. Let's get it straight. I only have one sports Emmy. The other one's for for uh, informational and entertainment oh, oh. program. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> Jason has his hand up. So if you were ever recognized. For the the originator of the podcast, wouldn't mm -hmm. you also be recognized for the destroyer of radio? <laughs> the destroyer of radio. How no, am I the destroyer no. of radio? Because this was You're, long before radio was destroyed that he started the podcast thing. Right. It takes time. <laughs> Skynet takes some time. <laughs> <laughs> I you, know, you killed radio, Alex. It's all your fault. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would love to be known for. Uh, uh, I think I would just like to be known that I did a did a fairly good radio program that gave people some entertainment. I used to be you a know. big shot. You know, I mean, I, I always just considered myself an entertainer, and and that's the thing that was always lost on other people. I mean, like at, at Sirius XM, I told them I'm I'm not a political person. Right. I'm an entertainer. And they accepted that in the beginning and just said, you know, well, we want to put. The reason they put me on the political station was because they needed to fill it up and get people to pay attention to it. So they said, you know, just talk about politics occasionally, but, you know, just do what you want to do. And I just wanted to entertain. And you and were that, lefty. And, and I was a lefty. It, the happened, left it happened to work. Right. And I it, will have to tell you, that was the it. best radio in my life. What, was you what, on Sirius? My yeah. show on Sirius. What? How? How was it the best radio in your life? It, it was just you know I work for I work for a phone company. I'm in a truck all the time, and I have to you know I listen to the radio. I always used to listen to music, and I would talk think that people who listen to talk radio were old people. But then I got into it, and it was just it was. It was the best radio of my life, you know. With you and Albert, Albert with his songs and his when he did put in the sound effects and everything, it was, you know, I, I hear people who are fans of you when they were kids and teenagers and stuff, and you know, I guess I kind of get that feeling. I was in my twenties, but you know, that's when I was introduced to you, and it was it was the best radio of my life, man. It was mm. the political, and you had the same political feelings that I did, and. You know, the it was just the whole experience was well. Awesome. If, it, if it was entertaining, uh, this guy had a lot to do with it, you know, very everything, much so. Everything to, everything do, with to do with it. <laughs> I wrote the prep sheet. I mean, he was, he it, it was, was, it was uh, very good that you, as the host of the radio show, involved your your crew, you involved yeah. your call screener, you involved your, you know, yeah. Uh, right. uh, 
you involve the people that are you know, doing the sh- the show for you. It was awesome. Explain something to me, uh, uh, Jason. Explain how you made that transition from being a music listener to finding this show. Why you went to that station? Because I never get that. I never understand where fifteen the, where minutes come every from. song over again. And so, <laughs> what made you what made you punch on to a political? What was I guess known as a political talk station. Really, the I, I started flipping through the channels, and then I, I think I originally turned it on, and you were playing "This Is the Greatest American uh-huh. Thing," you know, and I was thinking, "Oh, dude, this is like some old shit." But then I actually, I really did hear your voice, and I didn't think you were that old. But I'm like listening to the music. I'm like, dude, this has to be well, some old Well, the reason guy. the reason we made that the, the theme song of the show is it was quite by accident, and yeah. that I had been watching this movie called the, the Great American Broadcast, and I heard this song, and I went, that's got to be the theme song because uh, I don't want any right winger to be able to get it before me. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I, I love really that song. You should use it on here. Huh? I can't you play it here because here. I will then I get blocked. I don't copyright because it's a real old movie, isn't it? Yeah, but hey, it's, it's in it's copyright. banana phone copyright because you should play that one too. Yeah, but the thing was that... <laughs> yeah, uh, where's the banana phone? <laughs> you know, I want to ask, uh, ask Albert something here because I, I, I've never gotten a straight answer out of you. Uh-oh. You did you one of the most well. amazing openings for my show of anything you ever did. I did, didn't I? And that... Well, I haven't told you what it is yet. I don't know. <laughs> it was your parody of the Big Bang Theory oh, yeah, theme right. song. Yes. Yeah. How awesome. did you do that? Um, I don't even remember at the time. I, the singing part is easy. I the wish I easily easy, had but... it available here. I'd play it for you, uh, but I don't. But, I mean, it was amazing because you apparently you took the music from the show and you managed to, I don't know, yeah, cut I think, out all I the... Think it was, I think it was a combination of, of several different pieces. One was the actual music. Yeah. The actual music, the theme song, which I think was recorded in stereo. Mm-hmm. And when it's recorded in stereo, you can remove most of the vocals. Anything in the center you channel, phase you can it remove. Out. Right. You can, you can phase out the, the center channel, which means you lose some of the drums because most of the drums and the bass are in the center yeah. channel. Yeah. But the rest of the stuff on the side stays. But then I found, I think I found an, uh, another version of it, uh, um, um, an instrumental version of it that was out of, in a different key, and it was also slightly different tempo, so I had to match the key and the tempo, yeah. and I created this bed to sing over. Does everybody so rem- does anybody happened. here remember the Big Bang Theory opening that he did? I, yeah. I don't remember the words, yeah, but that was yeah. remember. Really yeah, we used it on the, uh, we used it on the, uh, uh, on the TV show. I made a video. Oh, right, yes, that's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, and... Oh, that was a good intro, by the yeah, way, I like that. and I would play it here, only I'd have, uh, I have to go find it, and, uh, you know, yeah. I don't want to... Yeah. Uh, I'd probably take us off the air while trying to do yeah, it. So YouTube that. would probably cut you off. But I, when he did that, to this day, he, this is the first time he's kind of explained how he did it, but it was amazing. It was just amazing. Well, you like the song, we talked about how much we like the show, and I said, well, let, let me see if there's something there, so... Yeah, you, you do what you can. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, what else is what else is new? That's what uh, oh, wait a minute! Somebody's oh, Tom Yamaguchi. Oh, look is, at that! Is calling. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go to our. taking an important We're gonna have call. to go to yeah, our. Uh, wait a minute! Hold on a second. I gotta get uh, Tom in here. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what Tom is. You oh, uh, Tom. Oh, there we go. Tom, Tommy Yamaguchi, it says here. Okay, uh, let me see here. Wait a minute. Is that it? Wait a minute. No, we just lost Tony. So I've got to get... Wait a minute. Oh, there's Tony. Something there's, weird it, I guess there. I have everybody. Yeah, I have everybody that I had. Okay, so i got to go uh, over here. Let me see here. There we go. Okay, ah. there we go. Uh, isn't it amazing how I do this? I managed to get every everybody's a separate channel. And you still have room for one more. I, I have more than room for one more. Oh, really? I, yeah, I also have a, uh, 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 where I can fit 12 people on at the same time. Well, give them the phone number and yeah, call well, up now. The phone number so you don't forget. <laughs> Hi, Tom. How are you? Hi. Hello, I Tom. I just got home, and I want to just say hello to Albert. Hello, yeah. Tom. How's things? Yeah. Yeah, I got. Uh, I came home just as you were talking about death. Oh, <laughs> during the pleasant parts. Yeah. 
Yeah. Where, you're still in California? I still live in California, in the Bay Area. That's a nice state uh, now. Where I still remember the best radio of my life. Oh. That was Alex on, uh, on uh, Live 105. You know something? That. This is kind of getting to be what somehow my funeral would seem like tonight. <laughs> um, it's not going to be this great. Give me a memorial while you're still alive. You can appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so that's a good thing. I, yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, um, we could do a we could do a West Coast memorial in, in San Francisco. A lot of people Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 people know me from San Francisco. A lot of them. Uh, where are we getting? We're getting some traffic noise from somewhere, but I have no idea where it's coming from. Hmm. Yeah, me. But Phil's been absolutely quiet because he's been on the phone. Who are you talking to, Phil? Oh, I'm I'm arranging uh, uh, a uh, whale uh, watching a whale photography watching expedition in Monterey Bay, and uh, that was the guy who sets it up. And I've got five guys that, including myself, that want to go down Any and shoot whales. Surprise? You're going to go and shoot whales? Is that yeah. what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah, he's disgusting. Yeah, he's gonna go wide big cameras and bring our guns yeah. to Hump, whales. Yeah, humpback whales. Gonna shoot them good. And, and then when when they shit their pants, Tony can wipe them. Right. Wipe it. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me tell you something. When those whales go down uh, to get the sardines or whatever it is that they eat, the krill, yeah. and then the they krill. come up, there is a smell that uh, like this. Uh, it, it, it's like nothing you've ever smelled before. It's like what Tony has to do. Uh, and and keep the baby wipe uh, <laughs> close to his nose. Well, this is, this show is just kind of getting really. Well, uh, either they, they talk about your funeral, mm -hmm. or we talk about wiping ass. You know. Uh, Feel free to change the subject. Who's going to wipe my ass at my funeral? Anyway, <laughs> I don't think you'll have to worry about it. <laughs> this is actually disgusting what we're talking about here. Let's uh, talk about Trump. No. Uh, hey, yeah. Let me get my hat. See that, see that great photo in the hospital with the orphan baby? No. Yeah. I, what was this? What was yeah. this? The OK. Yeah. Oh, he, okay. he had a... He had a baby. Yeah, he had a photo uh, with a baby that the parents were lost in the, in the shooting. Mm -hmm. And they were uh, killed. They weren't there. lost. They, they were killed. They were, were they found? Yeah, they were murdered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, he he gave the thumbs up sign. Uh, I don't think up. that's a little, you know. Well, I mean, he did so, give the thumbs up sign, Phil. I mean, come so on. Phil, you're still not pro gun control at all. Uh, nah, I like the idea of these background checks. And uh, apparently, I so does Trump. Yeah, and I yeah, and so does Trump, and I and I also think that there should be universal health care for for uh, for the wait uh, wait 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 what 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 for <laughs> wait a minute he, wait a minute Jason he isn't finished yet okay yeah, uh, you know for mental health just that, for mental health that's just it. for mental health Not for I mean, if, or for no cancer. because you know well I agree because in that way uh, it's for damn sure that uh, Donald Trump isn't going to be able to buy a gun. <laughs> he, he's got the uh, Secret Service. What does he need a gun for? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, uh, you know. That'll he, make a bulge in his jacket. He's, he's said these kind of things before when these things happen to kind of get the heat off yeah. of him. And then it gets forgotten. It doesn't. Well, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He, he said, hey, uh, you know, Mitch McConnell came back and says, I'm neutral. Moscow I didn't Mitch? agree to anything. But, uh,. You know, uh, let's see what uh, Trump does. Uh, you know, he—I don't think he cares it's what Mitch McConnell Trump. thinks. Yeah, I don't it's think he all cares of them. either. It's I don't all think of he them. cares about anything. They need to, everybody it's needs to get together money. to do something, and they never do. And yeah. it's not going to change. And so they the, haven't. I mean, so the, the conversation these, is pointless. Yeah, hundreds of these things, and nobody's done anything. Yeah. If Trump they, says he's going to do something. I believe he will. Nobody's done anything because the NRA is. Running the show. Yeah, but I think he's standing up to them. He, I don't oh, think he bullshit. cares. I don't think he's standing oh. up to them. I think he and Wayne Law or Pepe, Le, Pepe Le Pew or uh, whatever Pierre. that guy's name is. Uh, They've already had uh, meetings. They already had a little discussion they about want. how they were going to parse this thing so everybody would get something out of it. Okay? Uh, 
and, and, and Mitch very Machiavellian. And, and he probably said, "Look, we got to do something to take the heat off the NRA and to take the heat off of me." So if I say this and we do that, and uh, I'm sure he didn't do anything that Pepe Le Pew didn't want him to do. Uh, uh, right. Tom, what do you think? I was going to say what uh, what uh, uh, what's his name was saying over here that it's the NRA. I mean, they're the ones that are doing something. And the only way to counteract them is for all of us to lobby even higher than them. I mean, call your, your senators or call your congressperson. How many people have, have called their, their congresspeople about this issue of background checks? Not going to not gonna how change many, anything. How many? 97% of the people have want you, background Phil, checks. Have you called your congressman? You don't have to call. I know, yeah, I know uh, Phil, Phil, Phil let, 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 let me, let me, yeah. let me uh, correct that for a second. Yes, 97% want background checks today. What about next week? You know, the fact is the public has a... I, right now we have this passion because of what went on. Two events, one right after the other, and actually three if three. you include Gilroy. And you know what happened tonight on uh, this, uh, what was it, NBC? Oh, oh. They did, wait a minute, hold on a second. On NBC they did this, uh, this tribute uh, to the people who had died. And they went all the way back like two years to all the names of the people who have been killed in mass shootings, which is not small. It took them a while to run the crawl. But it, it went uh, uh, Dayton, uh, El Paso, and then it went to something else. They forgot Gilroy. Oh, did they? They forgot Gilroy. Yeah. Did you hear that a guy walked into Walmart tonight with a uh, uh, yeah. body armor and an assault weapon? Yeah. And uh, some uh, some retired fireman uh, with a handgun uh, took the guy down. Well, you want to hear about? No, you he want to hear? He was arrested. It was in Missouri. He wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, no, no, but he right. stopped him, uh, yeah. and uh, he didn't kill him, but uh, he he uh, cor cornered him, or you know, arrested him. Yeah, he wasn't up to any bad thing. He was just being being a schmuck, being stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the thing is that uh, he wasn't he wasn't being st he was being stupid but the fact is that what's interesting is that in spite of all of this Walmart is still going to be selling guns yeah and video games and, and video games yeah yeah. Video games is just, uh, just well, a I see, I see, video I, games I see the don't have anything to do with anything. I see the guns oh, as being more of a problem. I see the guns as being more of a problem than the video games, to be honest with you. Uh, I Thanks. saw a uh, profiler tonight on, uh, uh, what's the guy that's got that podcast on CN, uh, C CBSN? Uh, uh, they, they I don't know, every, a restaurant. Every, everybody has a fucking podcast, well, okay? Uh, Get over it. Is, uh, anyway... Uh, he had a uh, FBI profiler, retired profiler on on there, and they said, and she said that the video games weren't it; that it was it's hate. And what uh, these people yeah. are doing is that they're going in. Uh, uh, ang they're not angry; they they hate, and they make it sound it's like it's actually a lack of empathy. Yeah, well, they they, they dehumanize the people that they lack attack. Of yeah, uh, well, you know, I play video games, and I especially like the ones where you are shooting things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 with with guns uh, yeah, that uh, uh, are uh, yeah uh, uh, exactly the same as in real life, with the specifications provided by the gun industry in advance to ensure that they are entirely well, accurate. I, I play the, so I play these sales. games like I played. Uh, what was it? What's the one? Uh, uh, the war one. Uh, Call of Duty. What, uh, no. What? All of action or something. Yeah, called Call, Call of Duty. Duty. I love that yeah. one. I yep. love uh, I love I all the I love all the Tomb Raider. Graphic study. I love all the Tomb Raiders. But I mean, I'm not about ready to go. I, I hate you don't. But I hate you guns. don't think it desensitizes a person to thinking no. that no. You know, I shoot them no. and they get back no. up on the no. next level. No, no, yeah. no. because no. they shoot. They know they're shooting pixels, Phil. They're smarter than Trump is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. the they are, Phil, it's not a real gun. We started the show off, and we were talking in just about how much I love BattleBots. That doesn't make me want to go out and... I want to see violence, but I want to see violence where things are getting destroyed with nobody getting hurt. Exactly, exactly. Yes, uh, Tom Yamaguchi. Uh -oh. That's well, because all, you're in sane. Japan, huh? In Japan, uh, <laughs> they enjoy their video, violent video games and violent movies 
even more than the, than the United States. And they don't have the problem the United States do. Now, what is a problem with inciting violence is we have a man in the White House who called him invaders, and we have the, uh, the, the, the reaction from this guy in El Paso. Now, I haven't read the manifesto. I, I probably will eventually. I'm just yeah. sick of reading all these manifestos. But, but, but actually quoting, actually using the same language. And we're talking about dehumanization. Well, yeah. we're people invaders. This is an invasion. These are, you know, these I, are. I, I, I that's think that that's a no, cop that's out. The response. That's 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 what's going uh, on. You know, you mean to say that anybody who uses words, no, uh, if somebody no, else does something no, bad, you can no. blame the person. It is the way that that the, the, the way those words are being used. And you know who who uh, uh, who, who wrote uh, that speech on Monday that uh, Trump was giving as if he was being taken hostage. It was Stephen <laughs> Miller, the biggest. A white supremacist in the White House, and he wrote that speech specifically to sound very, very passive, to send the message that 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 Trump really didn't mean what he was saying. He was yeah. he was sending out the message to white supremacists that he thinks what they're doing is okay, and that's the truth. I, I think <laughs> that the tinfoil <laughs> antennas are just getting a little long. What's it getting a little long? The tinfoil. He, 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 he was making well, a you perceived. Call you call you a kook. I'm saying that you're, it's a conspiracy that you're talking about, and I don't believe how, that how there's a conspiracy, conspiracy going on. Feel when these people, when you have your president talking all of this hate speech, and then no, you no, have no, people going out there and doing oh, stuff no, 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 about hold, hold on a second, Phil. You're hold, associating hold, hold, hate hold, speech hold down. with. Hold it down a second, Phil. Uh, we're not talking about hate. You're speech. trying to make an equivalent. Phil, Phil and it, hold, there isn't. hold it down. What, there what, is. what, what, what we're saying here is, and it's what I've said over and over again, what the problem is what the president has done is given a sense of permission. And that, oh, as right. you may remember, uh, Albert, I always used to talk about let's make sure we don't give a sense of permission. You should be to anybody ashamed. Right. You should be ashamed that you're equating. What he's saying is a sense of permission. You're you're just you're just falling I'm lockstep not saying, no, with the I'm left. Not. No, I'm not. And, and no, I'm their, not, Phil. Their, uh, and, Phil, and, and Phil, Phil, listen to me. Like, listen, okay, calm down, down Phil. Phil. Conspiracy Phil. theories. Talk hey, about hey, 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 Alex, ads, Alex, Phil? wait a minute, Alex. <laughs> let me let me ask Phil a question. Okay. You you said one time about the percentage of these immigrants who are coming up through Mexico who are raped. Do you remember 39%. what that was? They were raped in the country that they were coming from. That's why they're fucking leaving you, oh, jackass. They, they were raped on they the way up. They were not raped on the way up here. They had people with cameras the whole entire fucking way showing how people were helping them, coming up with water. Are it's, you guys thirsty? Do you need food? Do you need this? Do you need that? You want to get they raped. Were raped in the country that they left. Phil, they were coming uh, up uh, here uh, to escape uh, that because Donald Trump actually cut off foreign aid to those countries. That's he why gave ten billion dollars Phil, to Phil, Guatemala Phil, Phil, calm and, and, and calm Mexico. Down, Phil. Calm down. Aid while he's sitting there giving it to the, the Israel. Phil, to begin Phil with, to begin with, you don't know if these people were getting raped coming up here, Phil. Because, wait a minute, they, hold on a second. That's what we were told. No, that's what you were told by your right wing media. No, that's what we were told by the. No, you are being just as immigration. You are being just as much in the in the. Maybe that. Is oh, where I'm, being losing raped in the I'm losing housing. it. I've lost control of the show. <laughs> Sorry about that. Raped in U.S. housing, U.S. prisons. They're being raped by U.S. Border Patrol. Yeah. Awesome. You gotta forget. You know, can't forget about that. Yeah. But they're being yeah. raped in but, the countries but, that they're Phil, coming. He, from. Phil always accuses people of uh, of of uh, being uh, dupes of the left and so on and so forth. He's being a dupe of the right. With that stuff yeah. about the rape going you know, on and all of that. Rejection. Wait a minute, wait a minute, just, Tom. Wait a minute, Tom. Tom has his hand up, and I want. I want would to just say, if I'm a dupe of the left, then, then the uh, the FBI is a dupe of the left as well. Um, What's that way? FBI ex. Uh, all right. Well. Call me yeah. clapper. Uh, or <laughs> see, see, there it goes. You know, uh, we had a uh, terrorism Steel. expert, and actually, I mentioned this before, uh, other end on on Jack's show. Because uh, it was meant, it was brought up on uh, Michelangelo's senior early show, a guy, uh, a terrorism expert from from uh, from the FBI, 
said exactly what I was just saying about Trump's speech, written by Stephen Miller. Uh, the flags uh, lowered to half mast until yesterday, when they were supposed to go up uh, on August eighth, eight eight. That's that's the eighth letter, the eighth letter of the alphabet, and it's it, it's a code for the neo Nazis of Heil Hitler. Okay. Dog whistles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. It's definitely a conspiracy. Yeah. Trump's out there helping the neo Nazis. Yeah. Okay. I, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I, 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 you know, your political Phil. views, Phil, is the same political views that killed the people that you call your ancestors. Yeah, yeah Phil, I don't how, do you, so. I, how does it make you feel that uh, he has not disavowed the KKK endorsement that he got? Does that he matter to you? He you did it right on. He did it, and, and he disavowed. Uh, what's his name, who was head of the KKK, who said he was supporting him? He disavowed that, too. Uh, David Duke. He didn't know who he was after he said. Yeah, he, yeah, he didn't know who he didn't know. You know, Phil, he did not know who David Duke was. Or at least, sure he said he was well, I think I think at one point, am I right uh, about this, Jason? He knew who David Duke was. Then, when asked about David Duke, he says, "I don't know who he is." Mm -hmm. Right. If I if I remember the way that whole thing went. You know, I I was more talking about the actual plan, the Ku Klux Klan as it stands now. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, sure they are. endorse him for president, yeah. and you know, if I was a Jew, Under, I would think I'd be like, the South if the KKK, the Nazis are endorsing this guy, maybe I better think about that. I don't know. See, and, and if I was it, Jewish, it doesn't matter. You know, hey, Jewish, they're, they're not going to endorse your guy. The United States government didn't take in oh Jewish God. refugees back in World War II, and maybe they should be taking in refugees from the other com countries now because they see what happened well, to my if ancestors. if the queen had then. balls, she'd be king. You know? Come on. <laughs> What's that all about, Phil? Well, I'm that... answering Jason. No, you, you you're know, not answering he, any. Because he's, he's bringing up Jewish refugees in World War II. Amazing. You know, yeah. well, if they when let the them United in. The United States government yada. didn't do anything. Maybe if yeah, they well, did. In this, at this time, Trump is doing something. He's protecting our borders. And he's, he's dealing off. with the no, Chinese. Just stop, it. Stop, it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. You know, we don't need to hear that same song every time. Just like your song? What my song is simply a song. What song of, is hey, the song of the South? Now. What? <laughs> Sounds like the song. Of the South. Well, this ain't no zippity doo dah, my friend. <laughs> you know. uh, let me see here. What time I, is it? Are we running I out of time here? Are time. we running out of time? If, luckily, uh, oh hey, we are in a couple of minutes. About uh, uh, twenty seconds from now, going to run the closing theme, which will. <laughs> Welcome back, Tom. Hey, <laughs> hey Tom. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, they, you know. Uh, he, he figured it was safe to come back on and maybe there wouldn't yeah. be a problem here. Just when you thought it was safe to get into the water. No. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen. Well, let, me, uh, let me start running the theme here. Let me first of all thank... And let's give a round of applause to our guest hey. host, Albert guys. Reynoso, the best producer hey, I've ever had Thank and a good you. friend and probably even a better friend now than he was when we were working together. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. When you're not working with each other, you become better so friends. So why did That's you right. make him take the bus? Uh, thank you very much, <laughs> Phil. Anyway, I want to thank uh, everybody. First, I want to thank uh, Jason, and I want to thank... Uh, uh, let's see here. Who else? Uh, uh, Phil. And I want to thank Dan. And I want to thank Charlie. And I want to thank Tony. And I want to thank uh, Bree. And I want to thank Tom. Great hearing from you, And I want to thank Alex. And I, and I want to thank uh, uh, him as well, uh, whatever his name yeah. is. Hey, everybody, big wave goodbye, okay? Okay, and we'll wave back, all right? There we go. Uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of them all. Let me... Uh, uh, take a moment here to say goodbye to our special guest. It's always nice uh, when you can do this. Um, uh, hold on a second. 
I try to do all this at the same time, and it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for, you know, Thanks joining for having us this me. evening. Uh, Albert, anytime you're here, please. I'll come up more often. You, you come up more often. You should also call us on the show, but you're asleep by now. Most. I'm too busy looking at porn at that time. Yeah, or night. battle on. bots. Or battle bots, right. Yeah, we'll have to compare porn. I don't do that anymore. Oh, okay. Well, not a lot. Uh, I, I do it just to make sure it still works. I've seen it, it all. It, it, uh, I've, yeah, hit the, it, I've hit the porn wall. That's yeah, it. and they all have tattoos now, which yeah. I don't like either. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. We'll see you again on Tuesday right after Damian Chaplin does his program called The Exchange. In the meantime, uh, as I always like to say, uh, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.